Hello everyone, welcome to Don't Even Get Me Started with CJ Siv, Ethan, and Ray. A new, very cool podcast uh, about presentations, about stuff. Wow. Who are we? Cool <laughs> Franchise the name. Very cool. It's just your company now. <laughs> be, you looks, know what? That I should be too. a second. That should be a second. Yeah. Byline. A very cool podcast. Just <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. A very cool podcast. Production. I didn't even think about that. That I already <laughs> have one called a very cool podcast. That's, that's, is that what you're referring to when you said that? <laughs> no, that's just how my brain functions. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Everything a, is. This is, don't, this is a very cool podcast. It's just very doing. cool. Why don't you make that your new logo? CJ Siv is doesn't ring as good. I'm just joking. Paul. Fuck you too, Ray. I'm <laughs> kidding. The, uh, I promise. So, who are we? Uh, it's gonna this be your lovely villain. picture of us. The only picture of the three of us that exists. At least it's real. Um, you, you have photos with your best friends. That friendship is fake. Yeah, but not all together. <laughs> you have to photo photos with every single person you know. Yeah. I That's yeah. There's probably like two pictures of any of either of us together in any combination i'm pretty Just sure most of the pictures i have of you they're blurry they look like cryptid <laughs> sightings i have a picture of connor <laughs> i have multiple pictures of connor driving when he should not be looking at the camera but he did anyways I I well just don't stick a camera in my face i didn't it was just my it was just my phone <laughs> okay my name is 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 connor also known as cj civ um I'm going to give most of my presentations on paleontology uh, and uh, and Lego, probably. Uh, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel, CJ Siv. Go watch yeah, it. Another podcast, too. It's on hiatus right now. Um, and that's why you started this one. Yeah. <laughs> and this, uh, this, You know what? That's what this podcast is. It's, like <laughs> it's in between the back. hiatus, yeah. Once, once, yeah, the rebound yeah, like, podcast. Yeah, it's a rebound <laughs> podcast. There you go. We're gonna play so jealous. If Liam listens, he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm better off. That's what he did. Okay. Hey. Anyways, go 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 check out my YouTube. Um, I don't know. Oh, you made that spin. You actually did do that. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Sorry, audio listeners. Um, <laughs> All right, Ethan, your turn. What? It's my turn? Introduce I, yourself. Yeah, hey, 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 it's me. Uh, you, you may know me as Ethan. I, it's my name. Uh, I've been around. Uh, and this, yeah. Yeah, you, you see the post. I feel like this image, that's why I chose this image. It introduces me very well. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't, what it, what do I say? Oh, should I say what my, my things are going to be? Suppose you're doing. If you want, you can do whatever you want. Just go for it. Oh, God. Directionless, aimless. Any <laughs> listeners we started with are already gone. <laughs> like on, the, on the sea. Um, That's not true. It's not my true. mom I'm would listen to it. Hey, me. Um, <laughs> I also would listen to it. The, uh, no, most of mine will be um, annoyingly in-depth about, I don't know, rocks or trains or something i don't know i'll figure it out as i go it's it's an adventure i drift on the sea i don't go to go, go to the next slide go to, I'm, I'm running out of words <laughs> that's you did great um i'm ray this is me in high school um i could explain the context of this photo but on the slideshow it's just me pointing to a picture of five stages of grief very excitedly but um i i do art mostly i have an art account which i don't know connor can link if he wants to but if not you can just go find be in it. the description just go, just go look for it yeah um i i mostly do pro presentations probably on the video games i like most likely fire emblem uh a lot of childhood movies that i like uh connor will probably already know uh, ethan probably will already know too which can't one wait it is. for the four hour spy kids <laughs> with you yeah oh. just on each if I can't write a thesis, if I can't write a thesis paper on it, then I will do a presentation on it, which I'm fine with. Um, I think we're, that's... we're a rebound from your university. <laughs> and... Yeah, the honors here people wouldn't you, let me write about Spy Kids, you. so yeah, so I have to do it here. I have to do it somehow. Um, that's I think the general. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Just... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Word. What is the plan? What is this? Uh. So the general plan of this this podcast is one or multiple of us will give a presentation on literally anything. 
So I could decide to talk about Bionicles for four hours um, I think if I wanted to, or something really specific. Except uh, Connor's cocked blocked me from politics. So I was going to say, oh, yeah, there's no some things we've agreed not to there. do. And by agree, me and Connor both think it's bad and Ethan won't stop. Simple rules. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, we plan to make these episodes about one to two hours, probably. Some of them will go more than that. Maybe a couple will go less. Um, I say six Semper Tyrannus, neither of you will probably know what that means. So I you. do not know what that means. <laughs> Maybe I should you censor just, that. <laughs> you just put a censor over it anyway. The, uh, yeah, the presentation itself is probably about 20, 120 minutes, probably. This is just an intro presentation. We're not doing this every episode, um, just because it's the first episode. We don't need to handle it. Um, it's okay. What about, yeah, you can figure it out. It's not that complicated. <laughs> what about sorting? Or sorting. Sourcing <laughs> stuff. Uh, don't expect, expect bibliographies in, in this, that, in this, this, Jesus Christ, why I can't I talk? In this, <laughs> this is a great start. Um, <laughs> no don't expect bibliographies in this shit. That's for cowards. Um, I made everything up myself. Go, go, go look it up yourself. But we'll, this is this, this is them looking it up. <laughs> what if this comes up as a result for I don't know um, the geological history of the Rocky Mountains that I'm going to do in maybe three to four episodes? <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be like a four-parter. Then the source maybe we'll source stuff, but like if, yes, I yeah. don't. The way I'm planning, on... treat this like your teacher treats Wiki treats Wikipedia. Yeah, um, with disdain. <laughs> just, the way just, I'm planning on doing it, disgust. if I reference a specific paper or article, I'll source it. Um, I'll put a link or whatever, at least. Uh, but other than that, most of what I'm talking about will probably be at least fairly general, vague knowledge or opinions. Uh, and the way I see it as well, images are fair game if they come up on Google. So, <laughs> just the um, page. any just the first page. any art, oh, just the first page. Any art I steal, unless I went out of my way to find it, is. Um, it's stolen. I didn't make it. <laughs> Credit to the artists. Don't sue me. Um, the copyright strike is coming around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. That took 10 minutes. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. 10 minutes. It felt like no time at all. 8 minutes, when you 39 do seconds, according to my recording. It feels, yeah. it feels so short. <laughs> that also might be a couple of seconds of dicking around at the start. I, I have right? 8 minutes Here, and 38 seconds. seconds. We're going to speed run oh, yeah. <laughs> three presentations just to sort of have a little fun start time. And then from there, I think we're going to, I don't know, draw straws on who's going to have to suffer and make the Ooh, first full paper episode well, one or something. Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Well, Whoever we already decided. I was. I thought I said I was going first. Oh, that's fine with me. Pull, right. pull up the right. teeth. <laughs> You want to do another recording here, champ? No, that wasn't long enough to bother. Okay, well, this will probably fill up the rest of it perfectly. If you want, like, yeah, a half hour recording. About a half hour segment. Can I, exactly. can I just say, for those, odd, if they're listening to the audio, and you plan to go to the video, just, if you want to cut a certain part of Ethan's presentation, because the first page is disgraceful. Do you not like the, teeth? I don't, I'm not comfortable looking at the time okay, well, stamp specific between, image. The teeth are only uh, for the first presentation. Slide. If you have <laughs> teethophobia, I don't know. Oh, I know what this is about now, having looking at this. Um, now that you've read phobia. the text behind the teeth? Yes. <laughs> it's not about just, teeth, but it is about teeth. I've, I've read it, but I still don't understand the context. So. All right. Don't worry, we'll get off this slide we'll pretty quiet. quickly. So, Ethan, take it away. Oh, I'm taking it away, champ. So recently... <laughs> A uh, new game called You're in. You better be in fucking presentation mode, not because like I'm in presentation mode. Okay, good. I'm just saying because I don't. Just know. tell me when you need the next slide. Yeah, my grad student Connor. Um. <laughs> so recently, a game came out, Sona City Skylines Two. It's a sequel to a game known as City Skylines One. It's it's all right, uh, but that's not what we're talking about. Uh, early in the, uh, well, not necessarily early, but sort of yeah it was more later in the process maybe about two weeks before the game came out um they messed around with sort of the requirements for the game how large the game was going to be i don't know maybe not how large it was but how intensive it was going to be on the computer and they upped the requirements so 
I have the requirements on a slide later here and we'll look at it, but basically we're talking about why you need to render a, a, a te teeth in a, in, in a city ability game and why f what, what 48,884 polygons means. Uh, next slide, please. So, Jesus Christ! <laughs> listen, it's, it, listen, dude. It's 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 the it's the polygons everyone knows. So what the fuck is a polygon? So when you start making out games, uh, you just have them two D. Like almost all games at the start were just fucking two D, and they were simple little pixels. And they use these things known as sprites. What sprites are is just a tiny little two D. Um, like you basically draw out a little thing, and each individual pixel takes up a section of memory and whatever and it's a really low cost way and by cost i mean like using computer processing power to make an image and have it do things so if you want the computer to make a little mario kill the goomba you can have an image of that that's really low cost it's just a simple little 2d image and it's known as a sprite to progress from that if you want to go to and uh, if you want to do some backwards long jumps and um shit like that with mario 64 we can't just use 2d images like a sprite can still be implemented into a 3d game you may have seen it it, it just kind of fucking it'll rotate to your uh, perspective and looked with really weird the whole time so if you want a 3d object we have to do some fucking math right so right. each mm -hmm. so what a polygon is is it's a set of coordinates that then get filled in with a color so right the act an actual polygon we learned this when we did math right and we did geometry and shit it's literally any shape with any amount of vertices with any amount of sides um you just make a shape and you fill that shape in with a color and bam if we can sort of have these shapes with different angles on their edges we can sort of make a cube wonderful we have a like if you have six like six squares bunch of sides eight vertices you've got a fucking you've got a cube look at that and now you've got a 3d object and each of the different sides of the object can be colored and you can all put that into a computer's memory and we scale this up into the pointiest boobs you've ever seen you're kind of following with me here <laughs> Right. Those boobs have a lot of power. No, I'm not a, being a polygon. Yeah. I don't actually know this, but I'm pretty sure the Laura Croft on the left is the P original PS1 model, whereas the one on the right may be a remastered PS1 model. And now we're getting to the next part here. If you want more detail, right? So uh, first Laura Croft uh, uh, here, her boobs are maybe you could see one point and another point and they make very solidly defined triangles. That's very low detail. I don't know if you've seen boobs before. I personally haven't. They don't really look like this from what I've heard. Um, I don't know what they look like either, to be honest. Me neither. Women are scary. <laughs> so for especially <laughs> like that, that, that I don't know, the, the, the top portion of her boobs, it's just one big square with one solid like sprite on it or one solid like texturing. You could see the one in just texture where it's just, I don't know, like, what are those called? The bits under, under sure. next to your neck, collarbones. Mm. That's what oh. they are. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I had no idea. What yeah, I wasn't sure either. The <laughs> bits. But then we go to the, the next bit, bits, and we've yeah. given Laura a lot more detail. So if we put more polygons on her, we can get more, uh, like a, a more of an illusion of a curve to boobs as opposed to a point to boobs. Did they? shade a four pack in her shirt yes oh. we gotta make her it's look like, buff man she's the superhero is that a Walmart yeah. shirt she's got a fucking she's, she's got a fucking like shoot a dinosaur say, man how, dude the the, the fucking, how tight of a shirt are you wearing where your four pack sticks out like that though how tight of a shirt you're wearing where your boobs <laughs> become pyramids well that's different that's just how they are how do, how just, do they become never... one singular mono prism <laughs> i don't know Next slide, please. <laughs> now, once we take Laura Croft's boobs and we upscale them all the way to modern games. So these posted... Wait, that's system... a sentence I never thought I'd hear. Yeah, right. So all almost any, any 3D rendering basically does the same thing. It's just a lot of fucking polygons. So you take a lot of edges and you kind of... you take The more polygons you have, the more of a circle you can make it. Because a circle is simply just 
a polygon with an infinite amount of vertices and sides. That's all, that's all a circle is. So we have to put a lot of them in to give the illusion of a circle, even though there's it's, there's no perfectly round edge. It's actually, a circle's round, idiot. Shut up. <laughs> so what we're looking at in the foreground, and you may recognize this little set of teeth in the background. Um, it's kind of got some system requirements in front of it. These are the system requirements for... Um, city skylines too that I basically just stole from the Steam page and in the background we see a model of the teeth of the people in city skylines now if you don't know what city skylines is uh oh uh huh am I still here yeah, yeah. all of the power just or maybe that was because I hit yeah no that was I thought all the power bumped in my house, but oh. no, I just hit the plug for my lamp. I'm like, uh oh, this is gonna be. Unreal. I thought like, I thought you like there was like a message on your phone. It's like everyone's dead. You're like, oh. there's a bomb in the house. Uh, oh, what's going on inside the house? No, we're good. You need to okay. wake up. The crash wasn't your fault. Okay, so City Skylines. Are you still there? Can you hear yes, me? is a game about building cities you may not know this it's you may have heard of sim city um there's other certain city builders urbex a really good one but the focus of it you may know isn't the people and so when it was released shortly after or revealed i guess shortly after the release of the game that every single person in the game has a modeled set of teeth that the your computer is constantly trying to render at all times kind of caused a little bit of an outrage because you have and you can go to the next slide here these are a bunch of stolen tweets from the person uh justin rosniak on twitter runs a great other podcast uh that you can find out if you go there um this yeah, caused a lot of out yeah. uh, hey, leonardo dicaprio pointing at the screen um <laughs> You showed it to me. So I kind of stole a bunch of things from Justin's thread because it's a, it's pretty good at um, sort of explaining what's going on was, here. Like, was this one of the many you've shown me too? I can't remember. I well, that's I, your may problem. Have, I may have shown you this. Uh, oh. <laughs> yep. So yes, this Continue is what people this is what people got angry about. Is right. We see in the top right and the top left. Sorry, here we see the. A, um, this is basically a detextured um, model of a person in this game. And on the right um, is a bunch of screenshots from the game where they note a lack of detail on a lot of buildings. And in the bottom left is Justin, who has um, made um, models for the first city skylines, talking about their own custom, like, modded thing that they did, which had 35,000 um polygons i don't exactly know what trees is counting here but you can see in the top left here we've got a character in the game with forty-eight thousand trees um which that could be a lot of different things it depends on what the computer is remembering which i think what the computer is remembering is the points so i think that means that's the points in the sort of uh outline of this person so every time you see a vertice here that's what it's counting and if we then focus again on the right, we see how important these people are. As in, you see the top left in this one on the right, maybe in the, so the top left photo of the tweet on the right, the bottom right of said photo, there is a person or two. Or three. That, that's, that's one of these people that you can see model on the left in the bottom right of that. Do you guys see where this, this guy? Uh, I see the guy in the top left damn i just I, realized I, I just realized a major problem that i have now is that since connor <laughs> is displaying the slideshow for the recording i mm -hmm. can't um hold on i can't like i can't john madden this shit and like circle this little <laughs> dude with a red pen but <laughs> tell uh, me where to circle uh yeah. so top turn the laser pen can get a pen? so on the dude. right yeah. on the right yeah. tweet that's, the that's big lovely. one on the right the top left photo of the one on the right, in the bottom right of the top left photo, there are some people there. Uh, you might be able to barely see them, and that's I the main that point. Was a trash can. Because this photo is about as zoomed in as you can get in the game. 
you cannot zoom in any closer. Maybe in the photo mode, but in the conventional, actual game, this is about as close as you're getting to any person on the street. And the rendering load that they're placing with 48,000 of these trees, of these polygons, is insane. And um, that's, that's where this controversy came from, is it's just a lack of direction in the game, essentially. The uh, game's still fun. They've uh, basically... The result of this was the CEO of the company bringing back a sort of um, like letter that they post on Steam, stating, "Yes, we're gonna we're gonna fix their teeth. Don't worry," <laughs> <laughs> because you could, yeah, th that that's basically it. How did they find that the teeth were that detailed? Like, um, they... As soon as games are released, people will basically take the files on their computer and look through everything. So if you have City Skylines yeah. 2 installed, you can go through, find every single character model in the game, and load them into your own program as this did. I think that might be, I don't know, maybe Blender? I don't know what fucking I no idea. program I would have used. But you could like, the, like the kitchen utensil? Yeah, so yeah, yeah whenever video That's games... Right. What, yeah. yeah. Whenever yeah. video games come out, they constantly get data mined and plunged for every single bit of information. That's how we know about the fun scale in Undertale, is because people just took Undertale and went into the files and found that there was an actual legitimate scale called the fun scale. Dude, that sand sky is so funny. Also, data mining has been fun. like a part of like all of <laughs> Matt Pat's theories on FNAF, so it's, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say like the, probably the most user-friendly, in my understanding, the most user-friendly like for for a dumbass like me in a game that like lets you do that is probably Doki Doki Literature Club where you actually have to go into the game files to yes. delete Monica. Yes. Yeah, so. Yes. Games yeah. where it is a part of the structure as well. Yes. That I I, 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 forgot I, forgot about I, that. I forgot that Doki made you do that. But yes. Yeah. That's uh, my. That's well, my. I like that mentioned. Sayori girl. I hope nothing bad happens to her. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> you should kill yourself now. No. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's my presentation. Uh, th thanks for coming. Yay! Don't applaud. We don't want to set it. I don't. My hands are going to no. hurt if we have to set a standard for <laughs> clapping at the end of these. How hard do you applaud? With your hand. Oh. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. That was like ear, ear murder. Bow. I had to whack a fly in the room. Yeah. I, had to, I had to commit murder. Anyway, yeah, all good. Very, very bueno. <laughs> Okay. Let's hope that didn't fuck up beforehand <laughs> uh, and the audio of the previous presentation worked. Otherwise, this is going up with no contact. <laughs> um, They'll just be like you talking to yourself and like nobody's I actually at least responding have back. My audio. Yeah, you just have you. You're just, <laughs> just talking. <laughs> There's like a solid 12 minutes where you're just silent or going, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Well, look at Ethan's <laughs> yeah. really well made slides. <laughs> I think they're really well made. I they're, I won't yes. admit how long I worked on mine for, but I I, I spanned it out at least three days. Um, I'm, I, but I, I'm, I, no, I totally visualized you throwing this together in like five femtoseconds because we're back. Yeah, me all. too. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Oh really? Yeah, this is my presentation. Uh, I did mine on Fire Emblem Engage because that's the game I've been playing recently after I semi finished Tears of the Kingdom. I abandoned this game for like four months or something like that after I bought uh, the game and then the DLC, which I'm not going to disclose how much that was because it was a lot. Um, yeah, you can go to the $80. next slide. $80. Uh, that was something. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, I'm not... You could look it up. It's not that hard, but I, I won't go into detail. And thankfully... You would only regret it if you didn't think the game was good. I didn't think the game was good. Uh-oh. You will see in this presentation why I bought it. Um, for now, I will just explain. So, if you want to go to the next slide, Connor, you may. Um, what is Fire Emblem? We're going way back to the beginning, huh? <laughs> This is, like, in case... I'm going to do more Fire Emblem, so I can go into more detail, or I can just skip over this. But if you want to click twice for me, Connor... What? Are you not going to... No, click twice. Oh, no, no. Oh, click, click one more time. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, if you're looking at the presentation, there's just pictures of the first to 15th installment of Fire Emblem. But the first one was published in uh, eight, April 20th, 1990 in Japan. It was Japan only for a long time. Um, but the first game was Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, which you'll see your boy Marth in. 
If you play Super I've, Smash Bros, you I've know who that is. This, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna, I've heard of these guys from the anime sword fighter fighting game. Indeed, indeed. It, that's exactly where the series, uh, what it's called, is anime sword fighting. So uh, Fire Emblem is just like a given name that we all gave to it. The most recent one was uh, this year, on January 20th, Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, which is the shit we're getting into. This one's technically number seven in the main line, but overall there's like 21 or 22 games. There's like a Shin Megami Tensai crossover. I know nothing about it. I have like a friend of a friend that's played it and that's kind of all I know about it. But it's unimportant. We're just looking at the main line ones because that's all I've played. <clears throat> uh, there's no number 16. I have like a diagram that says one to 15 and then I just said that this was the 17th one. Number 16, that's another presentation for another day. If you're a Fire Emblem fan, if anyone listening is a Fire Emblem fan, it's three houses and there's a lot to talk about. So continue to you the gotta, next slide. You gotta make sure when you post these, we put a lot of like tags and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, Fire Emblem. Out. There's that's a lot. Of, mm -hmm. Anime Fire Swordsman. Emblem. Marth. That's pretty much it. Um, Fire Emblem that's Engage. It. Those are the only two characters. That's it. That's Let's the, put the Smash series. Bros tags in it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I mean, there's lots of Smash Bros characters that are featured in Fire Emblem. so Even Kirby? What do you mean Smash Bros? <laughs> <laughs> that's, you heard what I said! That's, that's what I said! Anyways, Connor, if you can click three more times for me. This shit isn't even a year <laughs> old. <laughs> it's for babies. It's baby age. Uh, first of all, the name Engage, and it has rings. It's not even about marriage, so it's immediately a scam. It looks like Genshin mm -hmm. Impact, which is yeah. the main reason why I didn't want to play it. The art style, yeah, there's I a... Love Genshin. Uh, <laughs> Ray, I'm sorry to interrupt, but mm -hmm. I need to hit you with something. Okay. So I was on Twitter the other day, right? All right. I was scrolling through Twitter the other day, right? And you all know about no story ever game. started <laughs> that way. Actor for Greg Heffley from the live action movies, right? Oh, sorry, who? The, uh, you know how there were live action uh, Diary of the Olympic Kid movies? Yes. Isn't he in prison and for you know killing his mom? <laughs> what? No, he is not. There was a Disney star that got in prison for he is a somewhere robbery. Somewhere worse, this actor whose name I forget, and I don't Florida. know if Connor can put it on screen, except you won't because he's lazy. <laughs> um, His name is Greg Heffley. Yeah, that's right, Greg Heffley. <laughs> Our boy Greg. He's a voice actor in Genshin. <laughs> ah, Lord, no. There is a lot of voice actors. That hit me like a truck. Ugh. There is a lot. Um, Shane or not Shane? Uh, Damien, who's in Smosh. <laughs> He voices the main character in one of the finer Fire Emblem games. And the person who, not really surprising, but the person who voiced uh, Ash Ketchum in the first, like, two or three animes also has a major voice uh, role in this one and the one prior. So, there's a lot of, there's a lot guess, of voice acting. Yeah, when, when you need, a, an, an, like, um, an English voice actor. They'll get like, anybody. you don't want to spend a lot of money. You can kind of just get anyone who's a fan, <laughs> can't you? That's, yeah, a little bit. Well, Pro ZD is a voice actor in Three Hopes, which I'd say is very well done, because ProZD is a very talented voice actor, if you haven't even heard of him. It, like, he's great. I, he's very I great. I kind of said that like list of grading. I should say this podcast is pro-labor and always uh, <laughs> will respect the uh, labor of voice Art. actors around the world. Art Especially the ones that to be. make us horny, like Matt Mercer and Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> yeah! Thank you for that presentation. Oh, man. Like I got like, so much. Simmons in Portal 2. Like got... J.K. Mm -hmm. Simmons in mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Like J.K. Simmons in Spider-Man. J.K. Like Simmons in in uh no. invincible whiplash Wait, no <laughs> the yellow m and m christian is bale he yellow m and m yes he is is he <laughs> yes no way in what yeah, like commercials is. or just like, is there like a series oh the red one is billy west who's philip j fry and half the other cast of futurama <laughs> okay see I, see I knew that one mm-hmm yeah, J.K. Simmons is the yellow M&M. He's he, uh -huh. he he gets around in the voice acting community, and I respect that. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. All right, Ray, he's you been continue your presentation <laughs> after this tangent. That's all right. That's all right. Anyways, we're not going to touch base on Genshin, but it has a distinct art style, and you you will see as we go through the presentation. Um, but I wish I wasn't in my just... room so I could spit every time I said Genshin. I wasn't, I was mess. Yeah. <laughs> um, <Be> dry heaving. <laughs> you immediately. Yeah. You mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not gonna talk more about it because I I feel like that's one of the video games that I don't want to mess with in terms of the fan base, and like yeah, just you, it's, that game sucks shit. It does. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I'm not if a they fan. can buy that much in loot boxes or the <laughs> battle pass or whoever it is, they can afford a twelve dollar pipe bomb in the mail. <laughs> is it only twelve dollars? Like you said we weren't doing politics. <laughs> this isn't politics. <laughs> Genshin, this is about Genshin, Genshin is impacts. very political. You, I will not. bombing is not political, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's irrelevant. If you're Genshin like me. devs have name addresses. <laughs> we won't get into the. Po I mean, Blizzard nope. has its own environment of politics that should not be done. Blizzard doesn't place. make Genshin. Not not Genshin, but it <laughs> makes video games that it's a bad company. <laughs> yeah, I agree because they made Overwatch, but the uh... <laughs> that's the first problem, the first and main problem. We're not gonna don't get into it. Don't, don't two get slides into it. Your yeah, you'll your get you'll get copyright flying so fast. <laughs> <laughs> This is a pro labor, <laughs> pro paid prog podcast. Pay your pay your artists. Um, Connor, if you want to click for me, once this is the main character, Alir the Divine Dragon. Connor, if you want to click for me one more time, this is the main villain, a dragon. What happens, Connor? If you want to click for me, you fight the dragon. Uh, and who dies? Your mom. But you will see roughly in six right. slides. Yes. Oh, keep... What? 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 What'd you I say? Know, I guess it was my internet. My apologies. Oh, you started a sentence and then you, <laughs> you didn't continue. Or, you... What me? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I had very stuttering in my end. I guess it was my internet. My apologies. <clears throat> oh, well, my audio works. Are you drinking hot minutes. chocolate? <laughs> you didn't bring no. me some. Is that, is that why we had to take a recess for like five minutes? No. It my, was like ten minutes. Literal ass father walked in the door. I need to go say hi. <laughs> Otherwise they were going to come and interrupt the pod. Then when did you when did you get when did you have time to make a drink? While I was saying hi, I multitask. <laughs> That's all right. This is going in, I hope you know that. <laughs> yes, good. We're ten minutes in and go three the, slides down. Go to the next slide. slide. Bullshit about this hot chocolate the podcast wouldn't be funny. <laughs> God, I love yellow text over a yellow background. <laughs> I was working in dark mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you tell I'm an art student? Um. Oh. <laughs> I have I have published artwork, and I have this art <laughs> My oh, we can tell, Ray. Derogatory. <laughs> uh, I can't be crying this early into the podcast. Oh, my lord. Um, <laughs> like three out of fifty-four. <laughs> yeah, you, fifty-two. But you're yeah. This is what I'm just gonna explain. What is happening and who the fuck are these assholes? We're just gonna look at the characters and the story of Fire Emblem Engaged. So Connor, you can go to the next slide. Slowest presentation of the animations. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> we broken Ray already. It's the first episode. I didn't think I was gonna laugh at my own presentation, but it's not. It's just I forgot I was doing it with you guys. So <laughs> I'm like crying. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna give you a brief. <laughs> Brief breakdown. Uh, you're a dragon, essentially Jesus. You were taking a thousand year nap. Who are you? Who are you? If you want to look on the picture, it's this guy with like blue and red hair. They're very uh, undecisive. Like in, the, like in the upper leftish. Yeah, it's like uh, right next to that child right there in the middle on I, the left. All children. <laughs> like the main middle. child, the one you can see everything nope. of. Down to yeah. the left from that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one is also the main character. There's a male and there's a female. That's like a Fire Emblem avatar thing. I was going to say, Obviously. these two people look exactly that, the same. They're the male-female version of Elir, which is the dragon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, after you wake up, you get to see your mom, and then she dies. Uh, but apparently you were asleep because there was a war oh. between dragons. That's why you are sleeping. Um, there's these rings that you get uh, from previous Fire Emblem games, which are the main characters from the old ones. So, the lords. They're called emblems, cleverly named. You get to collect them all, but they keep getting snatched by the bad guys. Um, example being the bad dragon. There's also this kid you keep seeing, which is that main child in that picture, <laughs> even though there's multiple. Just we'll we'll see a little. We'll see who that is. Um, she's really a little half. Just say child, yeah. I. That's right. Sorry about that. I mean, at the slides and her going away. Yeah, it, it makes right sense one. if you're looking at the slides audio wise. It's just there's just a poster of the one of the art. Sorry, audio listeners. There's, there's, there's a smattering of children. <laughs> yeah, there's a like smack a murder of kids. Mm -hmm. No, they kill a, a lot of people. School. A murder of children. <laughs> 
uh, a posse, if you will. Um, that kid is also half evil, but you get a saber, so it's cool. But overall, you're just trying to save the world and stop the war, even though you did technically start a war. You ended a war, you started a war. It's kind of blurry, but that's just Fire Emblem for you. If you want to go to the next slide for me, Connor. What is the proper term for a group of people? Because you got a murder of crows, I think you just said it. Jellyfish, herd of Armada. Oh, no. Armada. Herd of cows. Armada. No, that's 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 a group of ships, Connor. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, the main character is a leer, which is the divine dingus or divine dragon. Uh, they're not normal. They have uh, no decision making skills because they have half their head, red and blue, as well as their eye color. Uh, but the dragon. But they actually can't be a dragon. So they're, like, barely a dragon. Um, they got some divine juice put into them by, like, this divine dragon, which you will see soon. Uh, but he wants to be a good dragon. It's it's a line from the game is, he wants to be a good dragon. I don't know. And it was, while he, it was like, while he was dying. So there was a lot of, like, emotion. And then he's like, I want to be a good dragon. So Alir, he's got, he's, he's got some interesting aspects to him. Uh, next slide. Heterochromia is the most homochrome is the most homo hetero thing. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. Mm. I mean, I get it. I can see what you, you mean. You get it? Yeah. You see what I mean? Okay. I... Uh, in other news, um, a group of apes is a shrewdness or a troop? Oh, I think I knew troop actually. The planet yeah, of the I, troop I of the apes. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of like <clears throat> refer to your boys as the troop. I think Morgan Freeman <laughs> said it in Life on Our Planet, which I watched yesterday. Very good, topical. Yeah. Yeah. I hope he's doing okay. I'm sorry, I like Morgan. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're fine. Um, we love Morgan. <laughs> we do yeah. love Morgan. He's a good man. Um, this is Queen Lumera. Uh, she's the mom. She's also like, she's a mom dragon. Uh, dermatologists hate her because she looks like she's like 20. She looks very young. If there's any um, consolation for Fire Emblem moms, they do not look like mothers. Um, you don't really know a lot about her, but she seems pretty uninvolved with the war, but she's like kind of involved in the war. I don't think she wanted to commit war crimes, but she's got typical anime dead mom syndrome, which if you know anything about anime or video games, moms die a lot because they're just the, too much work. Has the term dead mom syndrome come up <clears throat> in your English class? Um, I don't know if I should call out any specific professor, but a few you times. Don't have to. That's true. That's awesome. <laughs> That's the correct way to refer to They really do be dying. They as really do be dying. If you have a, if, um, if you have a, yes, whatever. <laughs> There's, there was something I was going to do a presentation on via like English literature that has to do with like shitting in like your dressing huh? room. <laughs> And then that someone... sentence took a hard left in the middle of it. <laughs> it's it's men not realizing that women shit in the 17th century. So they don't. That's I mean you're not wrong. Who's but the guy who didn't know that women had pubes. Ah, uh, that you got, you got to be more specific. Like what timeline? That's that's true. Like in so there's a timeline era. I mean, I think Ethan, are you an idiot? Women aren't real. <laughs> Yeah, we talked about this with Laura Croft and her point groups. No, a Roman uh, like scholar of some kind, or it may have even been some like uh, late Renaissance, uh, like fucking <clears throat> early, like early and the modern era kind of shit, like early modern uh, something, where he wrote where <laughs> on his fucking marriage night, he got I don't know scared surprised that his wife had pubes because all he had studied was like roman statues where it was like as clean as a fucking whistle yeah oh Oedipus. folks we are mammals we got hair uh fun facts oedipus fucked his mom you didn't know it that, that um, yes that, also that's correct that, yeah. that <laughs> also wasn't what i was part. talking about at all that's but, what came uh, to mind when you were talking it. about that i want yeah he had like three kids with her Next boys? slide, Connor. <laughs> hmm? I think it was like three or four kids. This is Lord I that guy up top. I thought mm -hmm. he was sad way from Transformers Prime. And now I'm disappointed. <laughs> kinda, yeah, this the is wings... Lord evil bad guy right here. <laughs> yeah, he looked pretty evil. He kind of looks like a Transformer. The wings don't help. There's a lot of weird, like, it's kind of weird hyper technology. Transformers Prime. Mm -hmm. This is queer coding as well. Well, yeah, because he's. Soundwave superior, Autobots inferior. They did. That's his only line. 
<laughs> That's exactly what Lord Samrun says in Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, he's also he he's he's evil, so they had to make him like really buff and like you know kind of sexy. But like we don't need to talk about that. Um, he's also kind of like a snake dragon cobra looking guy. He has no nipples. He doesn't have nipples. Not a lot of anime really like ish games not a lot of not a not lot, lot of, of japan have based games have nipples link doesn't have nipples um which is unfortunate but we all know why because uh, he's trans but he's um a yeah because he's a fanboy oh. <laughs> he's both like he could be both he could be a fanboy he could be trans we don't know it's what the the androgyny is meant to interpret we get over that another time because i would also do a presentation on that that's a um, whole other can of worms that's a whole other can of worms uh <laughs> i think he's there's a picture of him eating somebody i think that's somebody's dad but uh he doesn't really have any remorse for murder obviously because he's a bad guy but he also had like a billion kids and they all that was the war was his children so they just kind of fought each other i don't know why i assume child support related reasons but this is fire emblem so it could just be like there's not enough room because these are very small continents um but he's the big baddie you can move on to the next one <clears throat> This is the enemies corrupted, which are fanti- fantasy zombies. I almost said fancy zombies, but th- they are kind of fancy. Uh, yeah, there's fancy. zombie dogs, zombie dads, and just normal zombies. Um, they became a problem ever since you woke up. So, like, you as in the player. Um, so it's technically your fault. Uh, but you also... woke up in my nap. <laughs> you woke up in your thousand-year nap and you caused uh, an apocalypse. I'm sorry. W- waking up to a zombie apocalypse is how The Walking Dead started. That's true. Waking up to ash Dead. and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my breast, I think. Breathe and in I slap my nuts. I wipe my ass and I slap my nuts, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one before. <laughs> I've not heard that one before. I, I've, not heard that. I'm, I've, I've been a pure dra- Imagine Dragons fan for a long time. I, I don't look a lot of things up. Um. Anyways, you also become a zombie. You can go to the next slide. That will be elaborated later. This is Vander. Uh, Vader. Vader. He's also known as Hot Grandpa. He's def- technically kind of like your butler or steward or like your caretaker. Basically took care of you while you were sleeping because there's just, you know, there's so much to do for a body. He's old. I don't know much about him. I never used him. He likes sewing, I think. Um, I keep seeing, when I was looking at photos of Vander to put into the presentation, I keep seeing ones where he's in role, like classes where he has his full titties out, which is... Like, it's a thing for both the male and female units, because mages, for some reason, are sluts. So they just put or them did into... Did you have to save any of those pictures? For a friend. <laughs> for, for research purposes. I can find them again, um, <laughs> but that'll cost you, because I don't want my search history to, you know, influence my future searches, because I was not pleasantly enjoying them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that was pretty much him. You can go to the next one. You also have some other stewards named Clan and Fram. They are twins. They also look alike. Apparently, um, saves on modeling time. Most of those twins that don't look alike. I th- I think I had a dream where they said they actually weren't twins. They were both adopted, and then I was like, why the fuck? Why, why would they say they're twins if they're like adopted? But I I think it was a dream. Like I I I'm not sure is the thing. The fire, the fire emblem dream. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of them. You're, you're getting deep. Uh, Megami Tense and lore that you never revealed. <laughs> There's a lot, yeah. It's uh, the amount of Fire Emblem dreams I've had is extensive. Do you have? Um, are your stress <laughs> dreams Fire Emblem related? No, my stress dreams uh, revolve around my stress. My stress dreams revolve around work, and it sucks. <laughs> that's, I think that's pretty common. You common bitch. What? Um, they're <laughs> your number one fans. They made you a fan club, and they're co-presidents. They're also unmarriageable, which is good because they are minors. And Fire Emblem has a history of making small, childlike looking characters that are maybe not child age or maybe close to, or maybe they're a dragon that's like a thousand years old. Merit- meritable? The bar. Yeah, the bar was in hell and they managed to clear it. Yeah, they somehow got out of hell and into a maybe a limbo to have a semi cohesive, good, ethical marriage system you may go to the next slide <clears throat> uh this is veil this is the main character's little sister she's good and she's bad there's good veil and there's bad veil um she was bad for the majority of the game she's she has like no family her dad was that evil dragon so she just has like nobody that loves her uh she was looking for you but even though she was looking for this sibling which is you she did not know who she was looking for despite saying i remember you i remember you gave me this thing 
It's like, do you? You don't even remember who I was. Which was just weird. Um, she dresses like a goth, but she has the personality of, like, an MLP fan. Like, a 12-year-old, like, My Little Pony obsessor. Like, you guys know that meme about the girl who's excited about the My Little Pony movie and she screams of excitement? That's Vale. That's no. pretty much who she is. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? It's like, no she's like, I was like, um, about to go see this My Little Pony movie. And then the person re- recording is like, are you excited? And she goes like, ah! Like, she's, like, excited. And then she screams. <laughs> That's... <laughs> You can't, you can't, okay. It's like an Instagram meme, maybe. I don't know. I'll find it one day. I'll send it to you guys later. You may go to the next slide. This is the rest of the army. I obviously won't go into detail about the rest of them because they're not important, but there's like, there's princes and princes. There's like these crown princes and princes. They all have younger siblings. Um, Each of them have their own retainers. Each country, there's four countries. Um, You get a few people from each. You get to like take in. You get some old people, you get some children that probably should not be in war, you get some people who are mentally unstable, you get some psychopaths, and bam, you got a war. You got an, you got an army. You got an army to fight in a war. And that's essentially what Fire Emblem is. You can go to the next one. Yay. This is my list of the Ix and the Epics. So, and the Epics being, it's it's epic, but it's How very long did mortal. It take you to think of this? How long? Mm. Yes. I do not want to disclose this information. Go to the next one. My first topic I wanted to like Wait, kind did you of... Read, did you read those? Huh? Oh, this... I. this is what... The... <laughs> These are what the slides continuing oh. will be. This is... Oh, boy. That was not what I thought was going to be on the next page. <laughs> that is on the next page is <laughs> half-naked model of Mavir, who is this tall knight, one of the characters. His body is the shape of a Dorito. The body proportions... Like my character. <laughs> It looks like Connor, honestly. He's just tall and scrawny, but he also has abs. Um, yeah, if you want to click... I don't click... have a beard or abs. <laughs> That's true. You could never be Mavier. If you want to press one more time for me, Connor. This is what a... Ma- like a toned... <laughs> this is a, a toned male body. Like Their waist is not scrunched. I, you know what? I see what's missing here. It doesn't have nipples. They don't, I don't have... I the main know. difference is they don't have nipples. You're fucking right. I should have... I should have just talked about that. What the hell? You're not going to like the rest of... I feel like a fucking... Yeah, shrimp check, everyone. Who's <laughs> yeah. leaning forward right now? Well, I am, because that's how I can reach the mic. I don't have, like, a, a stand of any kind. You know, kind of, like, curled up in my chair. But... <laughs> my my knees started going... My legs started going numb once I started crossing my legs again, but they're just kind of flopped you into... Um, yeah. Obviously, you can see what from the pictures it? if you're looking at the presentation, they look different. You... But audio-wise, just it's believe me. Audio yourself. listener, there's a whole bunch of shirtless men on screen. <laughs> it's, it's there the will be more in a them. moment. There's <laughs> Actually, I'm... there's not men. Shirt- shirtless men. There's more just like women, but they're not shirtless. Ah, shirtless women, even better. <laughs> <laughs> the women, I unironically, are not shirtless because I didn't want oh. them to be because that would be weird. Yeah. yeah. As God intended. As God intended. Even now. You can go to the next slide, Connor. This is Sapphire. I forgot she was wearing a swimsuit, so I, I kind of lied already. But she, she is a knight. She's like a really like heavyweight, loves to use his axes, trains every day kind of knight. And she's not ripped. She has a six pack, which is cool. But her arms are noodly and her legs are not toned. If you click one more time, which I kind of regret adding this in. This is what a toned woman looks like when she actually like works out in multiple parts of her body. She has toned arms. She has toned legs. I'm not gonna say what workout regime she has compared to severe. Put to severe, in but... tiny text here at the bottom right. This isn't me being horny. I promise you this, but you are lying. To I, me. I, I yeah. Don't gloss over that. Right. I just needed to emphasize because severe is like a get get cool character. I just wanted to. Can you go to the next slide? Brackets, just a big fan of characters. Can you just go to the next slide? Well, obviously, because like this is one of my favorite characters. Her name is Chloe. She has, um great hair she loves flowers um the part the problem with some of the female characters is that their boobs are ginormous we don't know why when she's wearing when there's a lot to handle developers are horny they are very horny um if if there's two pictures one of them they're wearing like workout gear so but the workout gear has the same like chest compaction as the rest of the outfits it just was the cleanest one to compare with um the next one is her outfit where her boobs look like they're blong like blah, blah, out of her body i can't use a word to describe it let's just take my expression for it boobs. she has insane boobs um but we i still love her if you want to click for me connor a few times <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this isn't you being horny at all. This it's not horny. horny. I just love her, okay? This is Gold You're Mary. commenting on the boot mole, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that was part of my point. They gave her a boob mole. She has, like, a, a small... Mole. This girl, Gold Mary, has Not a small it. boob window on her shirt in battle. And when she's hanging out in the Somnial, which is basically, like, their camp in between battles. Her boobs are one of the, like, bluff. They look like... I, I don't want to say it, but, like, an old lady's boobs. Because they just... They're huge. And they kind of, like, they don't sag, but they look like they should be. Um, I was afraid of her because I don't know how her back is not broken or why she's still composed so well but the boob mole they added on the boob so you're just gonna look at it more that that was the problem is what i wanted to add she oh. is i would say she's the I boob see. lady yeah she's probably the boob lady in the game if you click one more time this was what some people may think is the boob lady which is the main character ivy because she's showing a lot of skin but her boobs are not as insane as gold mary's gold mary's boobs are just too unfortunately iconic to distinct between these two characters you may continue. Boob has been said in this episode a lot more than I expected. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> this is the last of boob. You're fine. This is the last of it. Oh, you're fine. I mean, what no. do you mean? <laughs> this is a, this is not lapis. We're not talking about her boobs. We're talking about um her spine, which she literally is... says tits up on screen right now. <laughs> tits up, ass out, spine breaking shit. You gotta let me finish. Press one, click once for me, kid you. This <laughs> is. <laughs> This is a this diagram. Is, okay. This is a yeah, diagram. Listen, listen, um, man, I've seen a lot of images of people drawing lines over other images. This, <laughs> this, this, this is not. What is this following? This is going towards lumbar lordosis. I think you that's what it's called. You are not following the spine at all. I know it's fucked up, but you are exaggerating it. Am I? Can you click the next Just... image, please? It looks identical. <laughs> It's just, no, it's, it's, not. it's, it's like a spaghetti noodle bent on like, no, it does. Like if you see, do you, at the end of her skirt, it goes out like five centimeters from where her, like the back, her back is. She is like a very petite character. She's not meant to have like this protruding ass and a boobage. She's just like normal. Like she's just average size. So you can click one more time for me, actually, if you don't mind. I can't say. There's an... <laughs> 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 yeah, man, the side of the ask just ask yourself next time is she actually sick or is she just suffering from lumbar lordosis that's all i have to say you can continue uh, but there's two redeeming qualities in character design one more time fanboys this is rosado rosado is a male oh, shit. i didn't mean to hit that but <laughs> that's okay you can also <laughs> click the next one fanboys and an old man with abs <laughs> The duality of man. <laughs> it's what we need in a Fire Emblem game. Um, intelligence systems are just giving us more progressive things, such as male characters who openly express female, and sexy old men instead of really gross old men that you can recruit and also marry, which is unfortunate. You can't marry Vander, which is the guy that's on the screen with the abs. The game but... is worthless. <laughs> that's why I don't use him. <clears throat> but yeah, I think that's all I had. Oh, you, you only want you only marry men you can use. I, I don't know where I was going. Essentially, with. if they don't have washboard abs, they're useless. The deaths in this game I wanted Based. to discuss <laughs> is ridiculous. Alir dies. Misery. <laughs> Alir dies three times. Lumera, the queen, the, the main mom, the mom. She dies once, maybe once, twice. There's a girl named Marnie. She dies once. And everyone else, they will die eventually. But I wanted to focus on something called the Krom Cradle. Um, this is Lumera. There's a picture of Lumera being held by Alir, who was her son, um, dying on the ground. She got blasted by a laser by, a, like, a four-year-old child. It was, like, a four-year-old child. As a dragon, no less. Um, you want to go to the next slide for me? This is her dying in the Krom Cradle. And if you don't know what the Krom Cradle is, you can go to the next slide for me, please. Click once. Uh, when you think of cradling, you think of a mom holding her baby. Or, if you want to click one more time for me, cradling your friend when they fall to the ground after drinking some poison or maybe getting stabbed in the in the gut or whatever. The next uh, the next one is Krom cradling you in Fire Emblem Awakening, one asking if you are alright in the same position, but you can only assume because you could just see him from the first person perspective, but you can, you can tell. Continue. <clears throat> this is uh, Lumera's monologue. She just can't die. When they die, they don't die right away. Uh, she had another monologue. There's many monologues. She just won't die quietly. You can go to the next one. 
Uh, this is her from far away. This is a room where they get a bunch of stuff stolen, and there's just these other characters staring at them. It's a very wide, open, empty room, and there's just... She's it's just where dying. The boss fight happens. It's where the boss fight happens. I think this death was about two minutes in like a cutscene, which was unbearable. If you want to go to the next one, this is another character, the second crumb cradle. Uh, her name is Marnie. She dies um, by getting stabbed. You can go to the L. next one. Fat L. Um, <clears throat> there's a point where the main character dies. This is technically the second time he dies. The first time was like a thousand years ago. Um, you get cradled by your sister because she's really sad you died because she doesn't realize that she's your sister until after you die because why not? Um, it's just, you know, the same cradle. I'm just using these as examples. You can go to the next one. Uh, when when you die, they your friends just kind of watch, which is another weird thing about the cutscenes in these games is that they're put in these large rooms where there's no other space but the, the characters and they just kind of watch you. What is on this picture here are these two characters. If you want to click twice for me, Connor. These guys, <laughs> they just stand there and look at you. It's just, they could have done something. They definitely could have. They, a poses. They are just, it really is just an idol. They're, they're probably like a couple bent joints away from an A pose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. You can go to the next one. Uh, this is another crumb cradle. This is where you die the first time. You go to the next one. Um, the, You eventually just kind of lay on the ground, surrounded by your friends, also just... Fire Large room. emblem is a fantastic joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. I, I just um, read that. These pictures, there's one of you like on fire. And I said, no one's cradling you, honey, because you're stinky and you're now also on fire emblem. Um, Alir is just kind of fading away alone because nobody wants to cradle this man. He's just he's just a mess. He's also a she as well. I should just say they, but I'm using he because I, I, I played as the guy. So most of these screenshots are from my playthrough but you can continue um i found another one while i was looking which accidentally spoiled the game for me because i'm actually not done so there's another crumb cradle where you're cradling your mom when she dies for the second time i can only imagine the monologue is just as long but i'm not gonna go into that one anymore you can continue you want to know something that's just... a big screen here <laughs> there's there's a reason why it's great you want to know something wild this game's called fire emblem when you play the game you're like what is the fire emblem where is it if you want to click for me connor you are the fire emblem you get to be the 13th emblem that is a ghost hey, that's the name of the, sh of the game <laughs> that's the name of the game but the thing is <laughs> the fire emblem has always been a physical object it's a shield it's a I stone the among us it is the among us <laughs> <laughs> um, this really has been five nights of friends <laughs> I put a lot of memes to emphasize my point and how ridiculous this was because I think when I saw this playing the game, I nearly vomited up on the floor because I was like, what the fuck is this? What do you mean? You can't, you, you're an em you're a fire emblem. Fire emblem normally is a shield or a stone or a crest, which is like power you can obtain, a medallion, a sword. And then one of them is a dance, but we're not going to talk about that because that was a Shin Megami game. So it's just... Why? It, you know? It was the people dance from Fortnite is the fire emblem. <laughs> you can go to the next one. So, this is the reason why I bought the game. If anybody knows anything about Fire Emblem, Crom and Robin are some characters that you can play as in Smash if you want to, but they're from the 13th installment. Um, they are the representation of love, like, regardless of gender, because Robin can be male or female. Um... I spent a lot of money on this game, so I can have my two boys, and they are there. Do you want to go to the next slide? I oh, think I have a picture of them. Oh, you're priced in this game. Okay, I see. <laughs> There's, this game's a lot more gay than I thought it was going to be. You can... Ethan, I need a price check on that. No. <laughs> oh this can be... <laughs> yes, sir. They're the gays. <laughs> you can go to the next I slide. I can't do it, because well, I could get my phone, I guess. But yeah. if I get out of this, it's will still through recording. <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture of me posing the two. I, I only did this once, but I was very happy that I could put them in a like a little scene together. They're just it's just Crom looking up into a pond, waving at nothing, and then Robin's behind him looking very like disappointed. But that's just Ray that's just marriage. Total libraries ass shots of anime <laughs> boys. <laughs> that's from Real. Fire. That's a different game that I got those ass shots from. These are just normal shots. You can't look at the butts really well. You can go to the next one. Uh, Crom and Robin as a pair. I think I hit two slides by accident. No, no, you're good. You didn't. You're good. Uh, Crom Did and you Robin. Did the expansion pass here? Yes. <clears throat> so. It was separate. And the, from the... and the digital version? 
I I got the physical version, but the extension was the digital one. I had to okay, pay yeah, for so seven. eighty eight eighty dollars, and then another forty for the expansion pass is a hundred ten dollar gay bait. <laughs> yeah. Just for yeah. you. <laughs> You could just read more comics on the internet about these two. You didn't have to. But buy I, game. you can't. Boy, do I have some links for you? <laughs> I don't. Gay anime boys. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I've been over my gay yeah, anime boy phase. Oh, okay. That Clearly was totally not. That was my. You spent 110 dollars on your gay anime boy. <laughs> this isn't. 40 minutes. I just said I doesn't matter what. <laughs> it's not just gay. It's just queer. Okay. Like Crom is, it's just okay. It's gay. Um, gay brackets. Um, as I have queer. <laughs> a gay back brackets queer. Let me explain these two homosexuals. Not an explicit detail, but if you want to click one more time, Connor. Explicit detail. This is essentially what they are. Uh, they share a ring wow. together. You can hey, you click I was about to ask for comedic effect who the top is, but I also understand that now. I think you might figure it out just by the photo. Uh, click two more times, Connor. That was my live reaction. <laughs> That wasn't my live reaction. That was probably somebody else's live reaction. Just disappointment. But in my opinion, it's love. It's art. That's They're the emblem of bonds. They literally represent what love between two people can be. Whether it be platonic or romantic. In this case, it's romantic. But we don't have to talk about specifically like what the details are. It's just that they are form, like, formed in this universe as like the bond. They are the bond. That's just who they are. The only other people that have, like, share a ring together are either people that hate each other or their siblings. So, I don't know what to tell you, dog. It's, this is probably just the, the best case scenario. Um, you can continue. Um, you can romance anybody regardless of gender in this game, by the way. It's not just Crom and Robin. That's not why I bought it. You can romance anybody. I know. No, not entirely. Not at, at first it was, but not anymore mm-hmm. after I've played it. Um, there is, um, there is a a reputation this game has of, um, where you just don't, you just can't be gay. You just can't be gay. And recently it's gotten better. So this one is pretty much a big improvement. You can continue. I think, oh yeah, these are the people you can marry. I have some pictures. (laughs) Um, you can just bear, you can honestly just marry. I think it's like, here's one more Connor. Thank you. Um, you can marry about, I think that's like eight people. Uh, eight male, eight female. But the rest of them are pretty understandable why you can't marry them. Normally they're out of your age range, too young or too old. Or they're just not romantic characters. So there's like maybe some ace little elements in there. You can continue. Um, we're going to talk about family now. This is your mom giving you a hug. She's she's just really excited to give you a hug. It doesn't look like, like you don't know she's your mom at this point. So the picture that is shown is the main character getting hugged like she's like jumping into the hug but her face is a little too close to her face so i was a little bit like this is a little suspicious like fire emblem has a reputation um that i can explain in a moment if you want to go to the next slide you forgot you had (laughs) more um your mom just staring at that. It's like, what are we looking at here? <laughs> it's just me thinking, man. I'm, I'm thinking. Your mom can also give you, your mom also gives you a ring when you die. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a little sus again. So if you want to go to the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Is she proposing to you? Hopefully not. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> there you go. Um How you- long did this take? <laughs> Um, about three days um well the dragon she actually adopts you she is a good doodle like she does have a good heart um she adopts you even though you're evil because in the first there's a picture of you without your multicolored hair you just have one colored hair so like you know the the decision making broke when you slept for a thousand years she adopts you and she helps achieve your dream of being a good noodle or a good dragon just like her and she gives you some pretty cool jewelry that ring actually had a a dude in it but that's not important you can go to the next one I just continue. Huh? Um, <laughs> this is uh, some <laughs> other familiar, <laughs> some other familial relationships. This is your little sister. You guys never spend time with each other until now. For some reason, she's in your bedroom. Nobody really goes into Alir's bedroom because it's like a sacred chamber. Um, normally, it's people who are trying to wake you up or bring you something like one of the stewards. So a little sus, but that's fine. Um, you go to the next slide. There's another one where how these two are not realistic siblings because Vale is like she wants to be with. Alir, the main character, forever. And Alir's like, nothing can separate us ever. If they were real siblings, they would wish they were dead every second that they talk to each other. I would assume. Because that's how I feel talking to my brother. 
I'm just kidding. I love you, Connor. But um, it's mostly pain in a familiar relationship. So saying that you want to stay with this person forever is pretty pretty bold. You can go to the next one. Why? You get by love your family. Oh, I forgot about this. Fire Emblem. <laughs> Fire Emblem. <laughs> You really slowly say that. Fire <laughs> Emblem has a, a little bit of a history, but incestuous stuff, but that's not going to be talked about. Um, there's some actually good sibling talks, like some good relationships. There's some where they're like actually kind of fighting, a little bit bickering. Um, Alfred was sick as a child. Just one guy was one of the princes. His little sister wanted to protect him, even though she's the youngest. She really cared about him, but of course she like is like, you're an idiot. You're hurting yourself, but you're also stupid. So I feel like that's pretty fair. Uh, there's other prince and his younger brother um they have kind of a interesting i don't know fair relationship diamant is like this really great guy he's the older brother the younger brother has like insane like self-esteem issues because everyone's like you're not like your brother and it's like oh well when you're the younger sibling you get paired to the older sibling that's pretty accurate i'd say you go to the next one these are two sisters uh from another kingdom they have the same dad different mom the older didn't really care about it but the younger was a little self-conscious about it um, they have a pretty good relationship, despite the fact it's kind of like you can still make family with someone even though you're not fully blood related. They also tried to kill each other at one point, but they're good now. They're cool. You go to the next slide. There, and then there's these two siblings that are just the best. Their name is Fregato and Tamara, and they're the best siblings. They're not afraid to call each other out. They're, they do, they're hypocritical sometimes, but that's just kind of what older siblings do or younger siblings do, I feel. Um, their voice actors also did a really good job at taking them seriously. So there's a lot of sass in the audio. You can go to the next one. <clears throat> um, there's no trust between the two. There's just, they just don't trust each other, but yet they, you know, still care about each other and help each other, whatever. But, you know, there's obviously been some betrayal in their relationship. They steal food as criminal acts. So, yeah, you can go to the next one. Rib tips? Yes. Rib tips. That was what she wanted to, to eat. She, <laughs> her, on one of her character descriptions... It says one of her favorite things is meat. So that's where meat. I assume it comes from. Meat. Um, mm. And uh, when you're gone long enough away from your sibling, you kind of miss each other sometimes. Sometimes. That's why you shouldn't stay with your sibling forever because I think you'd probably go crazy. So, yeah. You go to the next one. And to conclude our presentation. Yes, it is at the end. I promise I'm very sorry for making it so long. This is Sami. Sami from Somniel. Somniel is a camp. Um, this is the queen's best friend. He's just a little guy. If, um, anybody doesn't know who Sami is, he's like this little cat dog. He's like a blue and white cat dog with like a little bandana. Um, dog. he's about as tall as a loaf of bread and weighs about two peaches. He likes, uh, the main character, butterflies, soft things, warm Americans things. Americans will use anything but the metric system. <laughs> this is a Japanese game, but that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah as well as their likes they also have dislikes which is how everyone they've ever known up until now eventually goes away because they're an immortal being and only one person stays alive which was the queen and now she's dead so now he has no friends which technically you're the friend now and you'll live forever but that's fine you go to the next one um this is just saw me part two you can pet this guy for therapy you can pet him you can also give him food because you're not going to use it for an army of people um you can also dress them up to make them look like you or a dapper little guy with a hat and like a cool little bandana or like a butterfly on your butt, you know, just for funsies. Um, you go to the next one. You can also dress up as Sami as well. Take it's a that. little, <laughs> it's a little terrifying. <laughs> um, if you get the DLC, yeah, which I didn't know, you also get a costume, which is Connor hates the furries. It's pretty much it's borderline furry, but not publicly. Borderline. If they can, like yeah. I said earlier, if they can afford that suit, they can afford a pipe bomb in the mail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's essentially it. My next, my next presentation is going to be on Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Don't do it. What is that? The two pipe bombs in the mail jokes. We have to understand what the <laughs> bomb is now. <laughs> do we want that though? No. <laughs> that, I mean. You got, a, you got a, just a few more slides left. They're just pictures. This is me fishing with Sami because they can also help you fish. I also gave us matching sunglasses. We can have like. You can go fishing. You can dress them up to make them look like you, which is kind of weird, but I gave him with matching sunglasses because I thought it was fun. There's one but... on the left. Sami looks like the smokest piece of shit I've ever seen. Sami like is the smokest piece of shit. He's just, he's just a good guy. He, you know, he knows what he's done. He's done a lot of atrocities. But you go to the next one. 
This is uh, Sami helping you do push-ups. This is Sami helping you ride a dragon or a wavern. He's just there to help you out, and he has a really good support system. And that's why what he you... makes what? What did you just call that word? What? Wyvern? How did you say? Yeah. Say what word? How did you, how did you say that, buddy? Wyvern. But wyvern. How did you say that? Right? Wy wyvern. Maybe I'm going insane. I, I I'm pretty sure you, I said dragon, I and then I, I said wyvern. I think. Yeah, I thought I heard wyvern. It's not Weird. a wyvern. I mean, there's also wyvern. I call it wyvern sometimes, but I think it's pronounced wyvern. I, I may have had an internet connection issue. I think you please had continue. A tutorial it's, it, it's, issue. It didn't sound like either of those. Okay. So well, maybe I didn't say recording. it at all. You'll never know. Find out and play I back. Had the recording. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. But anyways, you know the next one. Sami is a great support system. He's just there for you, and he saves the. Excuse me. He saved the series single handedly. Um. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. He's just, he literally is why Fire Emblem exists. We we got to 17 or 22 games up till this point to get Sami. And we've won. We finally won. We have this little marshmallow rat looking dog cat with a bandana. That's the horse, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, does he he's, make noises in the game? No. Oh, yes, he does. Does it, what are the noises? Uh, I don't want to imitate that. <laughs> Imitate them. No. A fork, a mouth, uh, a nay, I'm good. A chirp. Um, it's more of like a like a. Um. Hmm. Imitate them. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not gonna do that. It's I wouldn't say a mule, like a mule. Um, <laughs> mayhaps a uh, an excited like chirp. It's a bird. It's not a bird. This. This is not a bird chirp. Sword. This is you like hold a bird, like a person you chirping. Hold, yeah. If you know what that sounds like, it, like how much fan fiction have you guys read? Do you know anything about like chirping? I, that's Just not a question you should ever ask. <laughs> so the next slide. This is, this is the end. That's my that's my presentation. I, not much. I had my anyway. expectations completely met. That was <laughs> forty nine minutes and counting a fire emblem. <laughs> I think that was like. Uh, maybe some of it was us talking. I hope it wasn't the entirety of it. I thought it was going to be half an hour. I apologize that it wasn't. Is there one more slide yet? No, this is the last one. Oh. This is it. 52. That's why it says la fine. La fine. I thought there was 53 yeah. slides. I don't, I don't lie, okay? I may be, a, I may be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. No. I don't lie. Oh my God. Thank you that for was coming. Exactly what I thought it would be. <laughs> my... If this exactly. doesn't set the bar for our, for this show, I don't know what will. Yeah. So yeah, I, I actually I misheard what Connor said about making the first presentation twenty minutes. I thought he just said that they can be twenty minutes. Yeah. If this was a if this was a whole episode right here, that would have been fucking perfect. Because it's like yeah. this is a fifty minute recording now. Like it would we would have come in under the bar an hour. That would have been a perfect length podcast. But I no. I feel like twenty minutes or an hour and twenty minutes. You're gonna the people are gonna. No, I almost think we should just have this cut out and try <laughs> to do its own episode. Like by nah. itself. That, that's, I'm fine with that. It's anything. all going in. It's going in now. Going in the pot. Yeah. In there. It's like a big stew. It's like a big stew. stew. It's a, it's, all, it's, a it's all stinky stew. Assuming the recording didn't fuck up, it's all going in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of recording, let's stop that. Okay, let's get to work here. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the previous hour and a half, worthless. <laughs> Time for the real shit. That was a joke. I liked your presentations. I'm... Please do this with me. I need content. <laughs> um, so I decided to do something fairly simple for the first episode. We'll go more in depth later. I just picked... 15 weird and cool, I'm getting my laser pointer, uh, 15 weird and cool extinct animals. Uh, all of these, all of these are, 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 are grounds for a, uh, entire, uh, hiccups now, of course I do, uh, are, um, grounds for an entire presentation on their own, but, uh. Is fungus a weird and extinct animal? Is what? Fungus? Number 15. No, shut up. Top <laughs> 10. Are those going to be the, uh, gooby woobies? So some of these will be obscure. Some of these will be less obscure. Um, if you know, like, none of these are, like, crazy obscure. Uh, but, uh, like, I know for a fact Ethan's heard of quite a few of these. Um, yeah. And that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's all new to me. Yeah. yeah now, you've, see, you've probably seen at least a couple of these. 
I've probably uh, heard you so, talk about them, but I can't say I remember any of them, which I apologize This for. is the <clears throat> the vague format every slide will follow, as well with pictures. We'll go through the genus name. I don't care enough about the species, and some of these guys have multiple species attached to them. Um, but it's fine, don't worry about it. Time period, vague range. Some of these guys have conflicting ranges depending on where you look. Usually whatever Wikipedia, the first Google slide showed, or first Google search. What? Uh, the what? group is not inherently going to be the group. Could be it's just whatever classification I thought was interesting. You'll see as I got in whatever closest thing I thought was cool that it related to. Their diet, country or continent found on, uh, and whatever weird features I think are cool. Um, that's probably it. We'll begin with whatever I put the first one with. Oh yes, a classic. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember any of these, by the way. I did this like three days Is ago. Is that the guy from that postcard from that thing we did? It I looks... don't know what you got on a I mean, postcard from the thing we did. Postcard. Like, like, do you remember? Do you guys... I got a trilophied. Well, do you... Is, trilophied. It's like a similar style. Do you know what I'm talking about? My, my... I, I know what postcards you're talking about. I don't know it. If you, that's what you grabbed. I, I don't know. It's on my bulletin board. Um in my car for like a month after that but it's I don't even know where mine is mine's on my um, anyways. bulletin board next to my bed i see it every day before i go to bed i so should I pin mine on the wall i should find that the, uh, <laughs> that doesn't whisper you good nights anyways <laughs> what they're referring to is the burg is a trip we went to to the burgess shale this summer burger we got shale. postcards at the burger shale that was the best um, so this is a Opabinia, which is found at the Burgess Shale. I don't believe the exact site we were at, but one of them. Uh, so, just post Cambrian explosion, 505 million years ago, the group they're in, probably arthropods. Uh, look at this fucking thing. Like, who knows? Wanna, it's wanna fucking take a stab at classifying? Go for it, man. It's a, it's you a, try. I, I shot. Really, I've seen those references Are those on this eyes? Guy. Yep, we'll get into its anatomy in a second. Um, <laughs> So the um, just look, look. I can't even describe this animal, but I've seen references in terms of the group to uh, Dinocaryids, uh, which is the same group that uh, Anomalocaris is in, as well with other animals like that. So it might be one of those, but also those don't have five eyes or a uh, trunk like that. So who knows? Uh, its diet is probably soft and small things. The trunk is not the mouth. Uh, the trunk is, or the mouth is probably here-ish. So, um, like an elephant? Yeah. Those are its grippers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Found in BC, Burgess Shale. As for its weird features, yeah, just yeah. fucking look at it. Um, weird features? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> so, for the audio listeners, Opabinia is a very hard animal to describe. It has five eyes, a long segmented body, kind of like a shrimp, but also not really. Um, a long trunk coming out of his mouth with a weird, like, grabber claw on it. It's the weirdest animal on the planet. The fossils, as you can see in the bottom left here, are fairly typical of, uh, Burgess Shale, uh, fossils. They're what's called as Lagerstatten, uh, which is just kind of the way the mud forms. Uh, it's really good for, for, uh, preserving soft-bodied creatures, which is why the Burgess Shale is so good to find stuff. And you find shit like this. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's just a really weird animal. I might do a presentation on just weird things found in the burger shell later. Uh, as for its size, uh, it is quite small, a couple inches long. It's not a big animal. I don't remember burgers uh, being on those shells. Shut up, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next slide here. Uh, so this is Jackalopterus. This is the largest arthropod to ever live that we know about. Uh, so it's from the Silurian period, uh, 444 million years ago to 416 million years ago. Uh, it is a chelicerate. So these guys are, or more specifically, a eurypterid. Uh, there are lots of these guys. Most of them are small. This is the biggest by a lot. Um, so the uh, eurypterids in general are very weird animals. A lot They're often referred to as sea scorpions, despite not all of them living in the sea. And uh, they're not scorpions. Uh, chelicerates are the group that includes horseshoe crabs, so they're more closely related to them. Uh, these paddle oh, things on this creation unchanged for 440 million years. Absolutely, <laughs> this 
This podcast pro labor, uh, pro trans rights, pro horseshoe crab. That's each of our, <laughs> our three main issues we bring here. Yeah. 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 Correct. <laughs> we put our pronouns uh, and the type of horseshoe crab that we are. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, Jekyllopterus itself is not known from the most complete data imaginable. I don't actually believe this fossil here is Jackalopterus. I believe it's just a very typical Eurypterid. I don't know which one. Um, yeah, I just searched Jackalopterus. That came up. I'm pretty sure it's not it. Um, so you're giving us false but, uh, information? Yeah. We uh, fucking <laughs> established this, Ray. <laughs> so this guy cool. is probably a carnivore there are filter feeder eurypterids but this isn't one of them um you guys are mostly found in the u.s uh but yeah largest it's the largest arthropod to ever live about three meters long um yeah this thing would have been terrifying if you run into it uh these side things here are uh paddles uh they're not claws although they do have claws not all eurypterids did but this guy did and it's got legs uh and a long tail Again, this is a really hard animal to describe. Audio listeners, just look up pictures of Jackalopterus. Good luck spelling that. I was going to say, I was going to um, spell that. It's primarily well, a YouTube format. If you, like, I don't yeah, know. This, this presentation might be better done on YouTube compared yeah, to some of the You, you spell it J A E K K E L. Shut up. L O P T E R. Wait, you're an English major. <laughs> you don't need to elaborate, not, just continue. That's not English. Uh, but yeah, so huge, weird animal. Very cool, though. Uh, this is Diplocallus, a much cuter, less weird animal. Um, oh, the one who breathes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one of these guys at the Royal Tyrell that breathes in, in their uh, diorama of the Paleozoic. Um, they did they said breathe. Like, they it fixed broken, it. But- they definitely fixed it. We they fixed it. Time. Like it, and the, it like it breathes months. as in. They, we found out they fixed it. Yeah, the Uriops blinks again too. Do they breathe or do they breed? Like breathe as isn't through the lungs breathe, or breathe as in like they fuck each other? Breathe from the lungs. If they had a diagram of like intercourse through fossils, I don't, I don't even know if you could. Tell stop it. talking. <laughs> I would go to museums more often. Uh, stop. <laughs> um. Can only be horny for anime boys on this podcast. I, I'm not even horny for anime boys. <laughs> I'm horny for anime but girls. There, there's about 50 <laughs> minutes worth of uh, po- uh, like of recording to say otherwise. <laughs> it's not about about the boys though, and it's not me wanting to fuck them. It's just me loving that they are together because they are in love. This is not my presentation. This is Connor's presentation. Just defending yourself. I <laughs> stop. Keep, keep, keep you brought it up. That whole day, right? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my Discord profile picture really helps all that much either. So uh, nobody right, will see it. Realize. We didn't even That's make fun fine. of your fucking profile picture, <laughs> which is the same thing. What is it? Oh yeah, it's the same boys. So no, we're talking no, about. Not even YouTube can. You'll never see it. Listeners will never see it. That's easy enough. All we gotta do is take a screenshot. No, <laughs> you will not. I don't have the credit for the art because it's art, by the way. That's Arts in the <laughs> metaphorical and physical sense. So Diplocal is here. It was from the Carboniferous to the Permian about 306 to 255 million years ago. So the group is Lepto. It is within Lepospondyli, which is amphibians, uh, not exclusively. Like that's a more specific classification. Uh, Lepospondyles, I believe, are entirely extinct. Uh, although uh, am- amphibian and less amphibian uh, phylogeny gets very squishy. And I'm not uh, super familiar with it. That's a whole pop um, it's presentation. Very squishy, and I'm not just talking about the frogs. <laughs> yes, no, they get um, weird as you get um, uh, back to this kind of age where we're getting out of like temnospondyles in, yeah. and into modern lys amphibians. Is this them uh, like fully wings too, man? Is this them fully yeah. grown as well? In this slide, yeah, so it's not a huge animal, it's about a meter long, okay. a little bit over that. I was more thinking um, it's because it looked like a tadpole. Is it not as huge? That's probably, I would be uh, the yeah, no, this is about it, as far as we know. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's my big I've never seen an amphibian this an, big. A, some, what, a meter <laughs> long tadpole? That's, that's pretty fair. We're looking for that's large. So, this thing was a carnivore, small animal, <laughs> basically whatever it could crunch down on. Um, it found in North America and North and not North Africa, Africa. <laughs> I'm not sure specifically, or maybe North Africa. 
Uh, features are obviously its weird ass head. So, uh, audio listeners, picture a salamander with a boomerang for a head. <laughs> it. Um, yeah, no, this has been the easiest one to describe. That's, yeah. It's quite accurate. It's like it has like a tadpole like body, but it has arms and legs. So it kind of yeah. Salamander it, um, makes a lot of sense. We don't really know why the, what these are for. Uh, I've heard we didn't references. Know. Um, made sexual it. selection yeah <laughs> I, <laughs> they have beautiful eyes yeah probably that because it doesn't like this isn't their whole mouth you can't really see it on these pictures here but their mouth is like this small hmm. um but uh yeah i don't know they're just funny looking uh helio caprion here oh, dear yes. god <laughs> oh a Lord. classic from the permian from the two th- from 290 million years ago to 270 million years ago uh, so the group is within holocephaly, so it is not a shark. It's more closely related to chimeras and elasmobranchs. Um, Which are shark adjacent, but yes. Yeah, ratfish and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Still, car- <laughs> still a cartilaginous fish, uh, chondrichthian, but not a shark, even though it looks like a shark. Um, diet, squid probably. Um, you can see why determining its diet might be a challenge. Um, so... Uh, it's found in Europe, Asia, North America, mostly the U.S. though, uh, and its weird features are, of course, its tooth whorl. This so is the most fossil we have. No, there's a couple of these. These well, teeth of fossils it, of it, right? This is all we've all we know about Helicoprion is its teeth go in a big spiral. According to this picture here, only the tooth whorls and some crushed cartilage impressions of the skull and lower jaws of Helicoprion are known. But most of it, yes, is completely speculative. So. Going off of next to nothing, Helicopteron, I remember, had some fucking wild, like, guesses and drawings from that big, from what we see in the bottom right, the big fucking, where the jaw curls in on itself, to what it probably is, which is the one on top there, which is like a single row of teeth. Yeah, so this is a little weird to determine. We do find multiple of these, or have found multiple of these uh, teeth whirls here. They kind of look like the Ammonite? Ammonites? They do. I was about to make that comparison. Oh, Audio no, listeners. <laughs> so picture a shark, but its lower mouth is a spiral like an ammonite or a snail shell, and the teeth are on the outside. Super weird. Um, Just picture and, the weird shark that you've seen from prehistoric shark videos. Yeah, you've probably seen pictures of it. it this is not a particularly obscure animal. Imagine if the teeth it's were on the outside. It's fairly famous for being weird. It looks like it's. Uh, it wasn't. It I mean, wasn't it's not. a small animal. Based on the size of the teeth and what fragmentary remains you have, you can see in the picture here, this thing is pushing 7 meters. Uh, or pushing 8 meters, actually. Um, but that is fragmentary. Um, we don't know. But yeah, these, Could get these, in the future. Who knows? The, pull the old Dunkel Osteus. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, which is probably not real, actually. Louise, the big boy we all know and love. I know. They're, they're, um, they're, 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 due to public outcry... Uh, we will be reverting the nerf on Dunkleosteus. Back to the correct form. That's right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Heliocoprion. Very weird. Very cool, though. Um, just this weird-ass fucking mouth. Uh, probably was eating squid. Um, cause, or at least something else soft like that. Because this couldn't have been a crunching mouth, most likely. Um, but we also don't know that. It's very hard. There's nothing like this to make comparisons to, so hard to know. Ah, Scutosaurus. Uh, Ethan, these were in Life on Our Planet, I which I didn't, it, which I didn't know until I made this slide. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have put this on here. <laughs> I made this before I watched that show. Yeah, now Gordon Freeman's talking uh, all about it. This is pointless. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Gordon, so, uh, Scutosaurus here. Yeah. yeah, Gordon Freeman from Half Life. Um, <laughs> No, <laughs> the right man in the wrong place really do make can make all the difference in the world. You just yeah, you watch yeah. the whole Netflix <laughs> series and there's no commentary, and you wonder why, and you see yeah. by Gordon. You just hear crowbar <laughs> banging on something in the background. <laughs> you hear a bunch of Half Life sound effects, like some yeah. bad <laughs> flipping. The uh, so this guy was around from the Permian. 259.1 to 251.9 million years ago so not a huge range because the permian is uh the permian is in scientific terms commonly referred to as a bad time um there will be a presentation on the permian and permian extinction i'm probably going to go through all the major extinctions 
Um, the uh, so they are in a group called Pariasauria, which includes the more famous, not necessarily more famous, but the the, the namesake of Pariasaurus. Um, they're a bit of a weird group. They're uh, para reptiles. Um, so not true reptiles, but also kind of on that kind of wing why of would, why uh, life. There have been rumors and theories, not rumors, theories that they're maybe closer related to turtles, maybe? <laughs> um, but probably not anymore, I believe. Where is their I believe shell? they... They do, well, turtle evolution is a whole other <laughs> conversation. Um, a conversation that doesn't have an answer. Um, but the uh, they might be on that sort of wing of reptiles, but maybe not. They do have an anapsid skull, which means there are no holes in the back of their skull. Unlike most modern reptiles, which are diapsids, they have two, or mammals, which have one. Um... It's your temple bone. Or Sorry. You temple bone. Your, uh, your cheekbone. It's right under your cheekbone. So this thing ate plants. Herbivore. <laughs> weird little tiny teeth. So you can see from the picture. He not only ate, but he served. As well. Yeah. <laughs> Found in Russia, which is, in, which is interesting. Mm. Uh, it's, it's weird proportions, or, or it's, it's weird features. Just as weird proportions. It's got this tiny little head with all these shit sticking out of its face. <laughs> Um, look at it, like it's weird chubby limbs the neck and it's is... huge yeah. barrel chest. Yeah, they're just a weird shaped animal. Uh, this it's... over here, I believe, is the walking with dinosaurs render. Or walking with monsters, but same show, same essentially. Um, yeah, they're just weird. Um, there's nothing like this alive anymore. Uh, often they're depicted with like spikes coming out of their face. I'm not sure 100% how accurate this particular drawing is, but there is base for like they would have had something coming out of their head like I was this gonna say, like, is that bones that's coming out like the horns is the bone uh it's or not sure part. probably keratin. probably keratin i'm not an expert on any of these things by the way i just picked <laughs> I thought that's, it looked cool. that shocks me more uh, than i didn't put a ton of well this is all weird stuff that also doesn't have answers for everything uh these um, are like the um paleontology phenomena or like some of these guys yeah ambiguous um but uh it's probably keratin which is what most horn and appendages like that are um and like so in you this can't era really determine too? like for yeah okay. but you can't really determine the full scale of that um you can tell there was probably something there but not well, how to what extent mm -hmm. Right, give me one second here. My son wants out of my room. <laughs> Connor, oh, by the way, is is a dad. We just forgot. To yeah, get out of here. <laughs> his, his kid's name is Jack. I uh, also kicks him to get out of his room because he traps him in here for hours on end. Forcing him to right, listen. Boy. boy is fear or is free. <laughs> boy, is uh, fear. boy is fear indeed. <laughs> boy is fear. He's fine. I swear, I didn't beat my cat. Uh, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Said to open the door and let him out. I didn't know he was in here. Uh, okay. He's hiding amongst the collection. He's like, yeah, you, Father, I, help. Amid, amidst my bionicles. He was probably underneath my bullhodge, which is where he's been napping recently. Remind me again what um, that is. Oh, it's the shark. Ikea shark. Yes. My bullhodge. He likes to sleep on, on my, my fuzzy chair. blanket next to him. That's nice. All right. This is, I don't know, 100 sure how to say. Oh, yeah. he's so sweet. <laughs> so this is, uh, I'm not oh, sure how to my. say this one. A top of dentatus, I believe. That's one of those words I've always read is, and then I realized, is this realized I had never said it before. Is, yeah, there, this one's Latin. I don't I know what that means. I think it'd be means, like an alter, alter, alter penantula. It's The stress should be on the third from the end. So not the U or the A, but the, the, the E. That should have the stress. We're calling it adipo. Adipodentatus. <laughs> yeah, Adip I'm calling it that. Adip Adipodentatus is probably yeah. You're right. Yeah. I yeah, this, you I've can heard say this. However you want, it doesn't. I've matter. read this name many times, and I just realized I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I should have looked into that beforehand. It's fine. We're only 23 it's, minutes it's, in. It's, Nobody's it's, listening at this point. They, <laughs> <laughs> like, What's God, wrong? that fire moment was Not fucking me. impossible to get so, through. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this guy's from the Triassic. A lot of the guys upcoming are from the Triassic because it's my favorite. And there's a lot of weird, weird things in it. 
275 or 247 million years ago to 242 million years ago. Uh, so this is Insurrupt Richia, which includes it's kind of on the way towards plesiosaurs uh, and ichthyosaurs, that sort of wing. Um, it's not super closely related, but that sort of end of um, the reptile family tree. So it probably ate algae, which you can see with a weird mouth, probably scooping things up. For how large they are. Um, That's surprising. Yeah. It, whoop, ah, no, no, go back. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> found in China. They find all kinds of good stuff over there. It's weird features. It's just got a weird proportioned body. Like, it's really long. It's got a tiny head. And, of course, its head is weird. It's like a horizontal duckbill kind of thing for the audio listeners. Uh, it is also, like, this could be, this thing could walk. It's got solid enough legs, you can see from the pictures here. This thing could at least drag itself along the, the, the bottom of the seafloor. You can kind of see from here, you can kind of see where the mouth comes out. Uh, this fossil here does actually have at least the vague outline of its uh, body. Although how much of that is prep work in the actual fossil, I am not sure. Um... The, uh, say so it's not huge, it's about two meters long, a little bit over that, um, almost three, but, uh, it's, yeah, just got a, just got a uh, funny head. They really, yeah, they really fucked him up on that top one, just the, no, yeah. the front facing right profile, there. he's, you really feel, we love that's, him. that's a perfect profile. It is, actually, yeah. <laughs> can I, can you give me a sec, I want to screen cap this and then, oh, right ahead, my... <laughs> You have you have access to the files. You don't have to wait on the stream here. Uh, no, it's okay. I got it. You're fine. But yeah. this is also <laughs> noticeable for being the first known herbivorous marine reptile. At least secondarily beat, aquatic. Beat the marine iguana to it. What can I say? Yep, by a lot. Huh? By a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, next slide here. Uh, this is Tanistrophius, uh, one of my favorite extinct animals, because it just looks funny. Um, from the late Triassic, 247.2 million years ago to 208.5 million years ago. Uh, it's in the group of archosauromorphs, so on the way towards crocodiles and dinosaurs, but not there yet. Uh, probably eating fish mostly, based on this tiny little head with little conical teeth, and the neck, um, found in Europe, mostly in Italy. Um... Weird features are, of course, its crazy long neck. For the audio listeners, the neck is longer than its enti than the rest of its entire body. And it's got a long tail, which is longer than the rest of its body, uh, excluding the neck. Um, you know what they say about long necks? Tiny little baby head. They're tall. Correct. <laughs> um, the, uh, yep. They do also have terrestrial adaptations. These legs, this thing could walk, probably. Whether how much it was bobbing along the ocean, like in this photo here, versus actually walking on the ground, like the top photo there, um, is unclear. Um, at least to my knowledge. But this thing was definitely using its legs to walk. These aren't swimming legs. Um, my man's that got one goofy off toes. On the right side. They got toes, man. Yeah. Well, it may have just been bobbing along the ocean here. But I, I see was a the lot front, of... Not the back. I see a lot of um, reconstructions with them standing on the shoreline here and like fishing with their neck, which I think is maybe somewhat plausible. Um, but yeah, very interesting animals. The uh, sea monster starring Nigel Marvin has one of these guys in it, um, and it shows its tail coming off like a lizard's. Um, <laughs> probably not. It couldn't if have done that. If its tail fell off, it wouldn't have any fucking. Oh, like it would just no. be on its neck the whole time. Wouldn't yeah, have any that's thing. not like real. I don't. Yeah, I love that movie, but however, that's that's not. Also, I've if you seen. watch that documentary, when the tail comes off, like there's just an explosion of blood. Like he killed <laughs> that thing. <What? laughs> it's hilarious. Wait, what movie is this um, again? Uh, this is Sea Monsters with Nigel Marvin. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll show it to you later. It's okay. amazing. Was that in IMAX at the Tell's World of Science? Was it? If it was, I didn't go see it. I didn't know it was playing. I would have gone. I've seen the one about polar bears before. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, That's fine. That's so fine. this here is Mastodonosaurus. Uh, from the Triassic, 230 million years ago. This is in the group of Temnospondyli. Um, which there will be a presentation on. I love Temnospondyles. Probably was eating mostly fish, 
uh, this is an amphibian. So temnospondyles are, uh, you've seen skeletons of these. Uh, Iriops is the most famous one. Kulasuchus is another one. Um, but these got, this one here is the biggest. Uh, this is the largest amphibian known to exist uh, found in Europe. Weird features is that it's just, it's like a crocodile, but kind of chubby, and it's got funny <laughs> eyes. The eyes are like on top of its head. If you look at the skull like this, the eye sockets are like flat. So the eye was probably on top of that. Um, but yeah, it, this is not is a true amphibian here. Um, often you see a lot of the tail flukes. This one has a tail fluke. This one has a tail fluke. Um, not sure how realistic that is, but it's fully plausible, at least to my knowledge. Um, huge head on this guy, and he just looks funny. Look at look at his he's stupid just, expression. He's just so goofy. It's, he's just a goofy guy. We just, we love him. May I add Dumb that in the top right photo in the in the presentation, there are these two spikes underneath the nostrils. It, it at first I thought it was like a septum piercing, just through the skin. No. It, well, uh, it looks like. It. Well, if you look at the pictures down here, there are. Yeah, there's holes. no. Yeah. There's a nose on both of them. I don't know if the teeth actually could have come out like that. Oh, is that, that supposed to be the looking teeth? At, uh, yeah. Oh. Looking at this photo here, the teeth are quite large. So maybe the front teeth, I never realized this, but the front two teeth do appear to be quite large. And there are like, holes for them in the roof of the mouth oh. or in the thing. These guys also don't have a palate, like a secondary palate. That's why they have two noses. Um, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, secondary palate's the roof of your mouth. These guys don't have that. Most animals don't, actually. Um, pretty mammal and bird thing. Hmm. But, uh, so, it goes right outside. So, yeah. So, I guess the teeth go out the nose. You learn. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I should have done better research. Um, so, this is Adasaurus. There's a whole group of these. Um, there are lots of them. This is the most famous. Um, late Triassic, 252 to 200 million years ago. So, it is within the group... Pseudosuchia, which is the other side of Archosauria, the other side being Ava Metarsalia, which is dinosaurs and pterosaurs. Pseudosuchia means a sort of crocodiles, and it includes crocodiles and their close relatives. What's interesting about this guy is, other than its weird proportions, it's herbivorous, um, which is uncommon, but not that uncommon for Pseudosuchians. It's found in Germany, uh, US, and Greenland. Um, it's probably gregarious, meaning it lived in groups from this picture here. We found a whole bunch of them found together. That's not for sure. That's one of those things that's really hard to tell. Maybe they just died together. This might have been a mating ground or, an, or, or, or just a site they were just living in uh, out of desperation. But either way, they, a whole bunch of them died altogether at least once. Part of the ship. Um, part of the what's, ship. Yeah. Part of the but they have... They have a shell, an armor, like an ankylosaur. Um, so these guys just decided to become ankylosaurs before dinosaurs were really a thing. They were kind of starting around now. But, uh, yeah, so so cool. these guys are very cool. Um, very weird, very unique. They got big shoulder spikes a lot. Yeah, cool I boys. Like I like them. I also like him. Uh, this is Ephigia. So you're probably looking at this guy. Uh, for audio listeners, picture an ornithomimid. Um, <laughs> it's easy. If you don't know what an ornithomimid is, picture an ornithomimid. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't so what, know what to tell you, man. And if you don't what know what that is, picture those... You're probably yeah. thinking it's a dinosaur. Well, I'll never picture it. Sure looks, sure looks like a dinosaur. Um, it's not. You're an idiot for thinking that. Um, stupid fucking it, it's, a dinosaur? It's totally, so totally this idiot. is from the late Triassic 208.5 to 201.3 million years ago it's also a crocodile relative this body plan is just really good apparently because it's happened multiple times um, it's diet it was herbivorous found in the US mostly that's an interesting thing that we'll get to back to very quickly weird features it's just an ornithom a small one but it's very similar to dinosaurs they just figured out how to do this before dinosaurs did which is really interesting it was found at ghost ranch new mexico which is a really famous site for having coelophysis at it which is a, a dinosaur 
a true dinosaur, uh, an early one. Um, that site is just dozens upon dozens of Coelophysis specimens. And then as they were excavating it and prep working it, one of the prep, I believe one of the prep workers saw this thing in there. It's like, that's not a dinosaur. Um, and pulled it out. Um, and then, yeah, it's its own very unique thing. Um, fairly harsh or fairly fragmentary remains, at least looking at the photo here. Maybe they found more of it later, but at least one specimen was at least somewhat fragmentary. But, uh, yeah, it's a, a very strange animal. Uh, yeah, they... This picture is very iconic to me as well because it was in my dinosaur books. Oh, um, memories. All right, next slide here. Uh, we're out of the Triassic finally. This is, uh, uh, I don't know how to say this one either. Uh, Balanognathus is what we're going with. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that, was pretty uh, good. that was a good way of saying it, I'd say. So uh, this is a uh, yeah, pterosaur. Like Bela and the Nognathus. Yeah. So this is late Jurassic 157 uh, to 145 million years ago. This is a pterosaur, more specifically within Pterodactyloidae. Um, uh, what's the interesting thing about it is it has a filter feeder in its mouth like a flamingo. Uh, which is weird. Did that mean they were pink? Maybe. Um, Does that associate that... with color? Yeah, the reason flamingos are pink is because they eat a lot of red and pinkish crustaceans. That's kind of it. You are what baby, you eat. baby yeah. flamingos are white. You are what you eat. You what you um, eat. so they're probably eating plankton or other soft uh, uh, invertebrates or crunchy ones. Found in Germany, but yeah, like it's a normal, fairly normal pterosaur, but it it has a um, the baleen. weird mouth. It, it's got essentially yeah a baleen. That's the um. That's the prefix. It's right the there. comb, the comb right. in a whale's mouth. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's pretty flat scoop. Yeah. There. I didn't think about that. It's Sorry, not a huge. I'm a, I'm a real big cetacean head. <laughs> Whale nerd. Um, it's not a huge animal. Um, dog sized ish, but it uh, yeah, it's funny that flamingos were a thing twice. Uh. <laughs> Next one here. Ah, yes, the funny. Oop, no, 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 go back. No, go back. No. Oh, no <laughs> spoilers. I didn't mean to double click. So this is uh, Dinochirus here. Oh, I can't stop a thinking about the next one. Strange dinosaur. This is a true dinosaur. I believe the only true dinosaur on this list. Um, for the Cretaceous, 105 million years ago to 66 million years ago, uh, right up to the end. Uh, it. This is an ornithomimid. I didn't know that until fairly recently, before I made this presentation, but it's completely different to all other ornithomimids. Um, it ate plants, this was clearly an herbivorous dinosaur, uh, found in Mongolia, um, and it's it, like the weird proportions, just look at it, it's so weird. Like it's, it's so fucking big. It's got this For duck an head. For herbivore diet, yeah, it's yeah, very large. Yeah, it's got a, a duck head. A weird hump on its back. It was probably feathered. Um, it's got these huge arms that do have fairly substantial claws on the end. For a long time, we just had the arms. We didn't know what the hell it looked like. Um, so they thought it was like a big those, carnivore. Those and then they found the rest of it. They found the rest of it. And they're like, oh, that's so much weirder than I thought it was going to be. Those arms uh, look like fucking they're equipable or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a super weird animal but i really like it uh this here is the prius planet render where it takes a shit in the swamp um <laughs> thanks just, apple is, is the, uh, what is that throat thing on his, on his neck? uh that's like a throat pouch like birds have sometimes oh i don't know if it actually had one of those but it's not unreasonable this is a, this picture up here the scale diagram severely shrink wrapped it would have had more flesh on its bones mm. Um, but this thing was also huge. This is a massive animal. Um, As opposed to, I don't know, or like a smaller ornithomimid. Like... Yeah, they're like six, eight feet tall. Um, they're basically just ostrich sized. Yeah. Um, the name ornithomimid yeah, means. This one is like, like giraffe size. It's like giraffe size. <laughs> There's an ornithomimid called Struthiomimus, which pretty much just means ostrich mimic. Because um, it looks like an ostrich. <laughs> Um, but this is in that group, apparently. I don't know how or why, but
but it's nothing like the rest of them. Yeah, Super so cool animal. He's not like hey. other ornithomimids. Ornithomimids. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, They're radically really different. Mean. You tried and we're proud of you. <laughs> For sure. I think That's Next a... slide. He's a good boy. This Big is Beazle Bufo. Yeah! Big we yeah. love Beazle Bufo. Is that his actual Late name? name... Yeah. yeah. <gasps> the name literally means devil toad. Um... Uh, so this is a like cat sized frog. I think it's a toad more specifically, but it doesn't matter. Um, Fork. 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 <laughs> right up at the end. This thing could eat dinosaurs, and probably did. Small ones, or babies. Um, yeah. But Anything yeah, awesome. biggest frog to ever live, found uh, that we know about, found in uh, Mongolia. No, Madagascar, not Mongolia. I don't know. Sorry. Have Dinochirus on my mind. But yeah. Rend this is the, I believe, the prehistoric planet render. That just looking funny. It's so, so squished. Just a wide just, guy. Just if you look at the, like, if you look at the, the skeleton here, this thing is all mouth. It's oh um, oh. It's yeah. Mm, it's like a clam. It's kind of like a hollow if, clam. Uh, for the audio listeners, picture a big frog. Picture a frog. You're there. Make it bigger. <laughs> a little bigger. A little bit warty. Now, slightly more. There you go. Big does, fucking frog. In this size chubby. comparison, does it have hair on the top of its head? No, yeah. that's just like keratin horns. Frogs just do that sometimes. <laughs> they no, just have hair. Frogs are, frogs are fucking... They're neat. hairy. We don't really know the full extent of... Or at least I don't believe we would know the full extent of what they would have on the top of their head. But probably it's something. Mm. Yeah, Most frogs do. the audio version, you're missing out on a wide variety of artistic renditions <laughs> of a bunch of animals right now. Yeah, it's kind it's of ironic that we have a that visual... fucking frog. That <laughs> fucking frog. Like... Yeah, we love them. Uh, now we're out of the age of dinosaurs here. <laughs> oh my god! This no is... No uh... way! <laughs> Platy Bell Belladon. Oh, Lucy, the uh, elephant age well. 15 to 10 million years ago. So we've, we've time skipped a lot. These were in no particular order. I just picked 15 cool animals randomly. Um, so this is in the group Probiscus. Uh, yeah, they fucking sure are. Which is including <laughs> elephants. It probably was eating soft vegetation. Presumed to dig them up with these weird front teeth thingy. No, I like found to in think Africa and Asia. Man, <laughs> predator. A uh, men didn't exist yet. Um, yep. Yeah. But uh, 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 later, Angie gets some Australopithecus. But yeah, I know. I suppose. But yeah, obviously, so audio listeners picture an elephant cut off its trunk and no, give no, it no. a Don't mouth cut off its trunk. bring the mouth all the way to the end of the trunk <laughs> and put teeth on the end of it and like the <laughs> whole fucking trunk. comical like pushes glasses up into nose i'm actually like buck teeth <laughs> on the fucking end of that trunk. this thing is the fucking worst i'm glad you got it at the end here. i'm, I'm it's happy funny. that it's moments like these where i'm happy that evolution is a, like it took its course has, has and put done this its thing job. out of its misery yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah. it's it's str the, do the bottom two teeth at the end of the it's, trunk is i think it's be violently uncomfortable yeah it's things like this that make me happy that man is slowly erasing all of <laughs> god's creation from the earth because clearly he was high when he made most of it <laughs> oh, yeah he had a power he could not be trusted with it wasn't even big. This is, this is like no, it's, it's not no. huge. It's like wide tail size. It's like big horse energy. It's only like, like six, seven feet tall. It's not a huge animal. Not particular. Um, but not it was probably big. digging things up with these teeth and then eating them or shoveling like things into its mouth, it's like like the one up here. No way you're putting that thing into hard earth, right? But, I don't. But I mean, look how thick the jaw is, though. I guess, like holy the shit. Scoop they shape. make it look like the bottom jaw, like the jaw. Sorry, not the bottom jaw. The jaw. Uh, it's kind of like, um, like, you know, those like candy, uh, belts where it's like kind of floppy. No fucking clue. No. What? <laughs> Do you know what a candy belt is? It's like the flat no. pieces of like candy covered in like sour sugar stuff. Uh, you mean the gay candy? Yes. The gay candy. The gay oh, the rainbow. Oh, well, why you just say the gay candy? I, it's not the first thing that came to God, mind. I'm sorry. Know, Do you know what I mean when I say gay candy? I think so. It's like the strips the gay, of, like, it's like a rainbow. Like the gay I, bacon. Bacon. Gay bacon. Yeah. Yeah. So the gay ga bacon. You know how there the gay bla bacon is floppy? That's kind of what I think the jaw. Like I didn't think that that would be I just, bone. I, the... <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah. 
That's... I, I mean, the top part looks a little bit more flip, like floppy, because it's, I assume, like, it's not part of the bone. It's like bit. a nose, but... It also still has tusks. Yeah, it, it really is just the, it's just the trunk that weird. seemed to change, and the height, obviously, it, but... The tusks aren't nearly as large or impressive as modern elephants or mammoths had, but uh, they're still there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just... this guy's an abomination at the bottom right uh, doesn't have what is i i know it not, uh, never mind whatever <laughs> this thing sucks the bottom right model looks a bit like oh, a yeah. like a goblin final merging <laughs> anyways i guess so <laughs> it's <laughs> armadillo <laughs> time <laughs> final slide here uh the way to carry kylosaurs again basically <laughs> kylosaurs for the third time um <laughs> this guy really likes ankylosaurus can you i tell? i do they're my favorite so this guy was also in life on our planet which again i didn't know until after i'd made this slide otherwise i would have picked something else but uh this thing was around from the pleistocene to the holocene from two to uh for 200 million years ago to about um about hang on 70, wait two million years ago, ago. Yeah, so yeah, seventy thousand. Zero point zero zero seven, I think, is a hard way to measure a year. I had to do it. This is into the thousands of years. So then why did this thing was around thousand years ago? This thing was around at the same time as humans. I don't believe they actually intermixed, probably, but uh, if they did meet humans, they were on their very last legs. Um, Glyptodonts well, in general. You're either what, at 70,000 years ago or 7,000 years ago. I don't think they're... So it's 70,000 years ago when they died out. Humans existed. Neanderthals existed. It's, yeah, humans were, hunted, were around were at the same time. by humans, almost assuredly. Yeah, if they got here in time before these oh, guys went oh, extinct. Oh, wait, North and South America? Oh, right, hold on. Let me... You know what? These were no. found kind of around the Isthmus of Panama. <laughs> When the Great American you, Biotic Interchange we, happened, these guys her, came over. Or close we found, like, what, what was the shit we found? Like a 20,000 year old fucking kill site or something? Or tools? I'm no, not sure in Mexico, they found fucking footprints that they dated to like 20,000 years ago. Oh, I did hear about that. Yes, that is so questionable. fucking cool. No, that's no, I'm, I'm fully <laughs> yes, on board. That's... There's so many sites that are older than like 14,000 years of conventional wisdom. That you might be correct. That because there was like a, or there like was like, you know, that fucking, you know, the guy who looks like me, but if I was bisexual and ran a history channel on YouTube and did TikToks, I know, uh, <laughs> yeah, long curly hair guy, like Milo Rossi, yes. He yeah. did a video on like a like a, a kill site that was like a hundred thousand years old in North America or something. I know what site you're talking about, but I've heard from archaeologists that site is questionable. Is he bisexual? Yeah. Well, too bad. Uh, what? That's he not the point here. Right? That's what you <laughs> described. What you mean? I'm curious. He's ringed the fuck out. Um, he wears a belt and like flannel. He's probably he he, yeah. he's probably bisexual. Okay. Can you do a presentation? This, okay. This one, I can't. I'm <laughs> well, <laughs> these guys here are within Singulata, which is the main group, which includes modern armadillos, but the rest of these guys were known as glyptodonts. What are you, Southern um, armadillos? This, this armadillo. What, what did I say? You armadillos. said armadillos. Did I? Oh, armadillos. 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 But, um,. They've got a tail club again. Like this guy, they did Adasaurs, then Ankylosaurs, then these guys figured out how to be Ankylosaurs. Heavy armor, tail club, although um, Adasaurs didn't have a club. It's not that I know of. Yeah, they're just weird looking guys. Uh, ate fruits and plants, they were herbivorous. Came over in the Great Biotic Interchange. They were one of the Cliptodonts arrived in South America. That was their, where they evolved. They came over when the Americas combined. This is a presentation for another time, but they didn't go extinct immediately like a lot of things did. They hung on for a long time. Wait, um, they made it to... Yeah, very southern North America. Oh, oh like, North America, that. right, when Panama formed, right, the Isthmus. Yeah. Okay. Great, but the Great American the Biotic Ice Interchange. <laughs> the Ice Age happened. I thought you were talking about, um, like, Beringia and shit. No. Oh, no, no, other end. <laughs> no, 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 that down here. Still on this side of the world, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, the weird features are, of course, um, the weird round shell. Like they're very spherical. Um, tail club with big spikes on it. And uh, they're, they're, they're big. This is a big guy. It's like five feet tall. Big boy. Um, Human four meters ball. long. 
pretty much. Mm. The um, but yeah, it's very possible humans interacted with this thing. When you say humans, it's are not you, do you mean like monkey humans or like? No, no, like humans. No, no, no. Two like Homo <laughs> sapiens. <laughs> yeah, modern, anatomically modern humans. Okay, that's okay. I I, I can't remember when we stopped being. Uh, well, two Not million years that ago, line is, well, that line is that line is blurred. Yeah. But yes, they humans were around the entire time this specific species was around. Um, Glyptodonts in general were around longer, but this guy in particular was around about there. Cool. But yeah, cool. um, that's it. <laughs> um, that's all, you know. And I guess that probably brings us to the end of the uh, the episode here. That's what we. Podcast. That's a podcast, assuming it doesn't fuck up. Well, um, it's fine. If it's a, fifty it, minutes, if it works, <laughs> it's meant to be. If fate allows it, it was meant to be. And we well, can keep uh, it. so yeah, this came out to be about double the length we were anticipating. I mean, it's oh, what's the big yeah. deal? It's, it's fine. fine. That's fine. <laughs> I think that's fair. But uh, yeah, so. Thank you for listening, audience. If you clung on this long, we have no idea what the next episode will be on. Um, That's the point, baby. Make it might be just one person gives a presentation to of us, maybe. We will see. Um, Are you thinking, like, every month? I don't know. Every few weeks? I was we'll find out. <laughs> Probably at least once a month. If we're having... If we have these presentations that some are around 15 like yours or around 52 like mine the i think yeah. the i think the timing is quite ambiguous and we can just i'd backlog some presentations oh did you <laughs> i i would oh, i've started i mm, started yeah okay okay i got you you just have a few ready to go and then when we get ready be like okay so now it's time to give like we each give a, th a brief one mm -hmm. or somebody sets aside like yep two hours I let's go i much Ethan. prefer is the second one of since we're clearly good for it, like both you guys nearly came into an hour here, we should do a rotation where one person does one each episode. Good point. And then yeah, maybe maybe then we could even do every two weeks. I don't know. But That's yeah, true. we'll figure it out. I think um, we'll figure it out. Now, for the love of God, let's end this. Does anyone want to? Yes. I think, hold on, what's Ray's Instagram? Because they'd never share it themselves. I'm CJ Siv and all, everywhere. <laughs> and I also. approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's DJ Siv. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm. Don't, don't find me. He's. Should I? Can I say it? Sure, I guess it doesn't matter. It's Ethan. It's Ethan. Do you guys it's... want me to make a social media for this podcast? No, we could. We could. We could. Um, eh, I'll do it. It'll be in the description, <laughs> well, or it won't be. We'll see. Where's... All right. And Hold on. I've got various and... usernames across various accounts, but you can, I'll just say you can just find me on Instagram with, uh, it'll be in the description. Yeah. Again, there's a few. Or it won't be. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or we just might lie to you. All right. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to end this. <laughs> you don't to be too long. Uh, all right. And, uh, goodbye. Yeah. Thanks See for listening. Break. See you next I'm time. I have dinner. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs>